Throwing Lines is a product of Downiente Digital. My notifications. I don't know how to use that thing. I got an M1 chip though, what you know about that? M1 chip, stunning. You don't even know what it does. You do. I absolutely do. Yeah, I do know what it does. So what does it do? Um, it gives me the performance to do more than ever. Wow. That sounds like... It has like... new levels of speed, responsiveness, and power efficiency. When I'm launching apps, photos, browsing the web, and more. So that I sounds, do know. That sounds definitely like you just read those buzzwords right off of Apple.com. First of all, this is help.apple.com. Same thing. No. Same thing. No, I was getting help. Where's uh, the notification bar? Bro, I hate this thing. I just got it. I don't know how to work it. It's stressful. Oh, no. Oh, no. All right. Why are we here? What are we doing? What are we doing? Um, trying to find my notifications. Nope. I'm talking about on the mic. What oh, are we I doing? It's recording. Yeah. We live. Oh, you didn't tell me. I don't need to. We just, we just <laughs> record. We're good. We're You're good. You're recording my whole Apple spiel? Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Hold on. I'm trying to put the basketball game in the background. I guess we could just leave it running. We'll probably bump into a cool conversation. And I'll just clip, clip that. It. Clip it. Clip it. Clip it. Clip it. We're going to need to put this in the middle of us, though. It's in the middle of us. Why? No, that's on me. Don't be scared. Don't be weird. Just because you're loud. Is it coming out of here or no? I don't hear anything. All right, cool. How do you not hear anything? I hear it in my headphones. How? Can you hear it bleeding out of my headphones? No. Okay. Well, that's a first. Seriously, bro, where are the freaking notifications? It's fine. I don't need them. It's fine. But it's the same as on your phone. Where's the notification on your phone? In settings. Go well, to settings. on my phone, I just go like that. Yeah, it's probably in the dock or something at the bottom. There's no swiping. Yeah, there's not. There's a dock at the bottom. Just bring your cursor all the way down to the dock. That's the dock. Okay, but do you see where it says notifications? Yeah, it's in settings in the gear. It's just like an iPhone, bro. No, it's not. You don't see the gear? Yeah, it says system preferences. Yes, click the gear. No, I'm looking for... Oh. <sighs> no, it just is... No, look, it, it doesn't tell me what they are. It just... <laughs> it doesn't tell me what they are. It just tells me that I can turn them on and off. Stupid. It doesn't show me where they're at. How would you do that on the phone? What? How would you do that on the phone? By swiping. No, like what section? Like where is that? In the I app settings? I'm not. No, I. The notifications are on. I'm trying to see what the notifications are. Oh, that was two completely different things. No, bro, no, it wasn't. Your levels is hot, hot. Because you're irritating. I'm trying to tell Already? you. Already? Yes. It's literally been three minutes. I literally asked you a question. You tried to tell Look, me it's in the settings. It's in the settings. Minutes. It's in the settings. <laughs> three minutes. But it wasn't in the settings. Because that's not what I was trying to do. Yeah, it's in the notifications. Well, if I can't find my notifications, then neither can you. So that's fine. You want to bet? No. Oh, come oh on, you broke man. it. It's really not here, but it's fine. It's fine. Isn't that the top right over there where you're at? My dude, if I, I told you. You found it. You found to find it right now. It's not there. That's Siri, control panel, the search, the Wi-Fi, and the battery. Right click up there or something. Why would I right? No, cause look. Never mind. You're so annoying. I'm Thought you were like I'm Mr. Techie. Nah, I'm a Windows user over here. You know, Mr. a real Techie. true, a true PC user. No, you're not. Want to bet? No, it's fine. So what we got going on? I don't know. You, I thought, had the programming all put together. You've been writing and you've been, you know. Yeah, that's not for this this test the mic episode. Then what's it for? It's for when we, I got, don't worry, I got you. I don't think anybody's going to want to hear a podcast about you trying to find your notifications. Well, then you should have just told me where they were. I don't know where they are. I don't use notifications even on my phone. I have them shut off. You know why? Because you're a loser. No, because I'm a human being that likes to think for themselves. I didn't hear anybody laughing. Because if I have, because if I have notifications on, I'm going to get like Talking Tom wants to play and misses you like on his phone. Well, you don't have Talking Tom downloaded, so no, you don't. I used to. Why? So I was when you got kids. I don't have Talking Tom on my phone. You don't play video games either. Well. You're a hater. How's I a hater? I think that I might have to take the guitar out of here while we do this because I literally hear the guitar strings. You sound like a psychopath. How do you hear the guitar strings? Go clap next to it. I bet you hear the. I bet you hear the sound. The yeah, that's strings. clapping right next to it, not literally yeah, a I whole can, foot away. I can hear it. I'm, a, I'm more than a foot away. I can hear it. 
Should we? Let's, be so let's see how this sounds. Okay. Boom. Okay. And we are back. Oh, I, okay. I'm back. Oh, okay. Well, I didn't know. You said you were going before and now you're going now. So I don't no, know. Good. Don't worry about it. Don't worry mm. about it. Dang. This, that was only six minutes. Well, We're gonna be it's on not here for like, like hours. you really have an agenda planned. Okay. I do have an agenda plan. Okay. So let's okay. see. Did you find out if that Drake story is uh, true or false? Cannot confirm or deny. But that sounds like something he would do. So that's nasty. So how does that even happen? Does he... I don't know. Because I don't know why anybody would smack Drake. So I don't know why that would happen. How that would happen. When that would happen. So this couple is like a singer-songwriter duo. He's a songwriter and she sings. Or he sings too. Or they both sing. They're both talented. Well, it looks like he makes a video, but the little blurb I saw said something about his wife was or his fiance was going to get signed or something like that. I have no idea. And then basically she ended up smacking Drake and then she was about to get signed to OVO. I don't know. I only I can't find any more. Hold on. Let me see if I can do some more digging because. (laughs) Because if if she how's she going to get signed? But then how's he involved with this? I have no idea. He got, he got tagged along person. as the third wheel, and then that's probably what happened. He got tagged along on this music making trip and didn't know he was the third wheel. And then the two one and two wheels just went off and started rolling. Ew. Yeah. And he didn't know. Maybe that was the plan all along. I don't know. I don't see anything else about this. So who knows? I don't see it on the Twitters. I did see dude's Instagram, though, and he was hurt. So, oh. Drake is being accused of breaking up Naomi Sharon's eight-year engagement after her fiancé claimed she was unfaithful with the rapper. Oh, he flew them both out to work on the album. Yes. Worked out and hung out with said fiancé. Wait, what do you mean worked out? Like, went to the gym? Ooh, I don't know. He introduced her to his yoga instructor? Like, what is this? Drake, he's a dirty, nasty man. He's gross. That's your friend. Who? Yours. Why is that my friend? That's my friend. Uh, this looks like something you would do. That's what you're doing. That's what we're doing. Just that's saying. that's what we're doing. I'm just saying. No, I'm just trying to get a vibe. That's that's what we're doing. I have all the vibes. He flew her out and her dude. <laughs> no, how? No, wait. You you're not trying to start a podcast. You're trying to start a podcast because that's what are you what are you saying? That sounds like I, that is not something First I would of all, do. What is cap? I don't know those East Coast words. Are you better learn them? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, no, I don't know. This is, he's hurt, and that's gross. All of it's gross. That's gross that he's hurt? He shouldn't be hurt? I mean, not all over the timeline. That's sad. Listen, like, what if music is his passion? He found It is. He found, right, and he found his person that likes to do music? Yeah. That's, like, perfect. That's his That's his soulmate. That's what he thinks, right? And then, then she went and... Yeah, but what kind of person are you going to be with if they want to mess with Drake? Like... Standards is already nasty. Drake got money. He's a little bit talented, so, right? Who cares if he got money? He's corny. Corny dudes is getting chosen every day out here. Not by T. Well, maybe a little bit, but that's no what we're doing. Pod cap, <laughs> bruh. This is a pod cap. Everyone, welcome to our pod cap. Hi. Look at him. He's such a loser. I'm going to change the name of this to pod cap. Because <laughs> you are tripping right now. Wait, look at this little corny smile he has. Anyways, I don't want to talk about Drake this whole time. I just thought that story was funny because dude was really hurt. All he's day. hurt. He's hurt because I'll be hurt too if some dude with a heart part. You'd be in his, hurt listen, or embarrassed. He has a, he has a heart, a heart part, <laughs> a heart part in his lineup. How you get a heart part in your lineup? You could not put all this about Drake in the podcast. We don't have to we because literally everybody loves Drake, and this is going to make them be like, oh, I don't want to listen because. How you feel about the hard part? Drink. You know how I feel about that. You think it's creative? No, I think that he is jacking the whole swag of all these Latin artists. That's they've been doing that. Well, that's their whole vibe right be, now. He be jacking the swag out of all these genres. I know, but I'm just saying. That's okay. We can I save this go part back for later. Drake. <laughs> <sighs> <sighs> but for, what if Forty's all over this album? This new album. Then I will do like I do every time and ask for the instrumental version. But Forty never writes me back on Twitter, but it's fine. I'm still going to ask. That's his man's, man. That's fine. That's his man's in him. He could be my man's in him. I'll make him dinner and stuff. 
if he gives me the instrumentals. Don't look at me like that. We are 12 minutes in. What? We are 12 minutes in. I just said that I would be willing to barter. Barter what? I just had dinner. He has dinner. He, he, he'll get you dinner. I can get my own dinner. I know, but not the dinners he can get. He can get you some dinners you don't even want to eat. He gonna Correct. take. He gonna take you like I did to the sushi spot on the strip. And, and he, I'll and, gag the same way. Yeah, he. Yeah. I'm not eating that. Not like that. Come on, man. I didn't do anything. I just. Uh, the, I didn't do anything. It I was just, your face. What did it do? Stop it. Leave me alone. I'm just listening to you. Just your story. Leave me alone. I'm listening just like the rest sushi of the audience nasty. listening to your story. Sushi is nasty. The texture, the taste, the everything about it is just gross. Sushi's delicious. No, it's freaking nasty. It's healthy, too. Well, it's probably why it's nasty. Okay, I see where you're going. I see where you're going. Welcome, everybody, to our podcast. Stop. No, I'm just kidding. Did you see that Kimberly got something that got smuggled into the U.S.? Who is Kimberly? I'm just kidding. But no, I didn't see any, anything about this. What is this story? Um, Basically, she ordered a statue that came into the U.S. illegally. It was imported. From? Mm. Was she just on vacation? No, she didn't import it. She ordered it, like, from Amazon. Like, well, not Amazon, but, you know, Ooh, just uh, you click, clicked and it came over. Italy? I don't know. This is a whole, I don't really it didn't, care. It didn't go through customs correctly? No, like, they smuggled it through customs. Hey, I'm, I'm going be, to be honest. I have never ordered anything overseas when I'm sitting in my living room. That's, I got stuff to do. You are a whole lie. You didn't never order anything from Alibaba, nothing. That's that is, all from overseas. That, I mean, I guess you're right. And you didn't order it from, like, Target, so you did order it from the living yeah, room. Yeah, I ordered it from, you know, the Amazon of the of the East. My God. Swag. I never talk about Cap. There you go. I forgot. You forget everything. I'm talking about, like, something large, like a statue that's going to get held up. Like, because they, they got it. It didn't get held up. It got smuggled. You missed the whole point. Smuggled by whom? I don't know whoever smuggled it in the country. That's not my business. I'm poor. That's rich people's business. That's what I'm saying. Because it was probably it was probably a mule. They got some drugs inside. Like Kim is not saying, getting drugs delivered. She's going through a divorce. I cannot call anything that she's doing. She could be doing anything. She probably is, but not smuggling drugs. You can get those in the U.S. Isn't she... She's talking to, what's the name? Van Jones, isn't that his name? Ew, another cornball. Right, yeah, she definitely... That's your friend. Partying like the weekend. Ew. I'm just saying. Ugh. All right, this is a lot of celebrity nonsense. I know. Well, I was on Twitter, that's why. That's all that's on your Twitter? Well, and the Nuggets one. That's exciting. That is exciting. Okay, well, nobody cares but me. Life of a Nuggets, a Denver Nuggets fan. You said nobody sense. ever. I'm just playing. You're disrespectful. How's your man's knee? Healing. You sure had to bring man. that up. That's all, that's the news. That's not news. That's, that's old happen. news. That's what happens when your one of your star players is. Well, we have a lot of star players. Out of the, so. Girl, stop. First of all, you got two. Joking for MVP. What do you mean we got two? Who else is on your team now? No, seriously, I'm not even Go about ahead. to do this with you because you're so rude. Like seriously. No, next topic, because that was rude. And you're going to sit here and act like you don't watch the basketball games. Like, you don't see who's playing. Like, you, like. Oh, yeah, you yeah, act. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 I apologize. You're right, you're right. You guys got JaVale. We don't talk about uh, JaVale. <laughs> I don't want him. Give him back to wherever he came from. Uh, yeah, you're right. You guys do have stars. Yep, JaVale back. I don't want JaVale. That's the homie. No. Hometown? That's your homie. Hometown? He's not even from there. What are you talking about? I mean, neither am I, technically. He cannot be on my team. That'd be fine. Speak of the devil. See? Told you. See? You said your Twitter your Twitter feed is full of uh, celebrities. See? He's a celebrity. All-star. Team star. Okay. Does he even start on your guys' team? No. Joke of Grand BP. That's all we're going to talk about. It's a mess. What else would you like to talk about? Um, Not his knee. What about your favorite sports team? Let's talk about your favorite basketball team. Oh, we're not doing this. I see. What, Let's I see talk this about your favorite basketball team. Because you want to talk all Here's that mess. Thing. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. I might. I might not watch like that. But I know when somebody's trying to set me up for it to get dunked on and posterized. Okay, I'm not. Nah. Who are you 
you trying to throw shade at? You. What do you mean? You ain't going to set me up to get dunked on. <laughs> no, I know I'm how just shit. I'm just asking. Tell me about your team. Hmm? Hmm? We can come back to that. Oh, okay. That's content for another day, man. Don't worry about it. What music you excited for? Um, J. Cole, J. Cole. Yeah, Jermaine. Who's that? J. Cole. Jermaine. You know his whole government? Like, you're a stan, huh? Yeah, I stan J. Cole. He's my uh, fly out cheat. Excuse me? I'm <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> oh, dang. All right. That's he's, what... he's my Drake. He's your Drake? He's taco flowers. That's a, that's a mood. Change of subject if I've ever seen one. <laughs> huh? What? Hmm? What? That's your, your, J. Cole, really? Why you said really? I mean, there's like, I never seen the girls writing Amazon talking about, oh my God, you let us down. You didn't put the J. Cole voice on the little AI box joint. So, I don't want Michael Jordan like that. <laughs> Michael B. Jordan. Yeah, you got it. Yeah. Yeah, neither to, of them, to be honest. You got to put that in there. <laughs> Michael B. Jordan. You got to throw that middle initial. <sighs> That would suck if your name was Michael Jordan, because then you yeah. have to... Yeah, that's trash. Yeah. I wonder how he feels about that. We don't care. We're going to get big, and I'm uh, we're going to interview him. Who? Both of them. Michael Jordan, Michael B. Jordan, whoever. I'm here for this. Look at your face, man. <laughs> Why? Look at your face. <laughs> how long have we been together? A long time. The time we cannot admit to in public. Over a decade or over two? I mean, no mind the business. <laughs> I'm not trying to put all that info out so, there. So when it hits over two decades, like, yeah. on paper, yeah, then we can just, we can say, like, a few decades, and then, you know, it could be, like, two or... Okay. That's all. That's all I had to say. That was, that was, it wasn't that was anything. a cool story. Come on, man. Don't do me. Hi. What? Nothing. What else? I don't know. I thought you had the planogram. <sighs> you keep saying that. Well, I'm not the one that was writing notes. You the one talking about you want to do a pod? No, you said you wanted to do a podcast. I didn't know you wanted to do a podcast. <laughs> no, give it up. No, yeah, give it up. All right, a couple things that we're going to talk about. I'm nervous. Not today. Oh. But I mean, we can today if you would like to. We're going to talk about the things that are interesting to us. So probably current events. I we mean, get our news from Twitter. Definitely. We'll talk about getting our news from Twitter because that's a topic in itself. Okay. No? I mean... What? What? At some point, this podcast is going to get way too nerdy. I'm just going to let you know. You already know that. Well, I'm going to take a nap. That's not very nice, man. I'll just watch TikTok videos. You're such a hater. I really That's don't cool. want right. to listen to nerd things. N nerd things are current events. For nerds? Yeah. No, that's not current events for everybody. We're going to have nerds listening in. Probably not. All right, so current events. Then we got music. Okay. It's mostly going to be about Jermaine. rap and hip hop. What? Rap <laughs> and R and B. Because that's what we listen to. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And Disney. We're not talking about Disney music. Why? No, that's not going to be First a thing. First of all, that's a thing. If you can talk about nerd stuff, I can talk about Disney. When's, what's the last D Disney soundtrack that was like? Moana. No, that's wrong. First of all, don't be disrespectful. Because Hamilton is Disney. Uh, well, you no, see. I don't think. It's not Disney? Well, no, I'm not counting it. You, that, that's literally a musical. Okay, well, it's a rap. I we said you. That's See? a whole different yeah, category. Yeah, Disney rap. There you go. No, I, I got you. No. Never gonna be president. The coolest, <laughs> that newest, terrible. Yes, Disney soundtrack is Soul. Have you listened to it? Nah, have you? Yes. I haven't listened to that. Oh my god! I forgot that was even a thing. That's why we can talk about that movie Soul sometime. I love that movie. It was cool. It was awesome. It's cool. So life is trash. It's still we'll just American. Get through it. It's still American. So there's there's issues in there, but it's cool for what it is. 2020, 2020, 2021. Okay. Whatever. All right. Music. Mm -hmm. Okay. Sports. Sometimes kind of. It's gonna be mostly you just clowning because I don't. You know. I don't really subscribe. Mm -hmm. We'll talk about that too. We can talk about that. Mm -hmm. What? No, nah, when we got a black league with black owners and black players, cool. I'll, I'm going to be all there for it, but we don't. So Didn't they do that already? Like Ice Cube and them, they did like this whole like are black league. About, are you talking about like Master P or somebody? No, I don't remember what it was. It didn't pop off, but it was like, yeah, because like Alan Iverson mm -hmm. was in it, wasn't he? Yes. 
Well, obviously that shit was trash. I think they just didn't want to do it because they just, you know, it was like fun and then got serious and then it wasn't cool anymore. I hope that don't happen to this. Don't be shady. <clears throat> Since we're a couple and stuff, I mm. guess we could talk and about... And stuff. Oh, my God. Yeah, and stuff. You thought we were talking about Jermaine Cole already. Okay, you were talking about music. I just brought up Jermaine. What does music have to do with anything? You no, you said, what just, music are you... You, you just, brought up Jermaine no, because no, no, he... No, 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 no. Back. No, Playboy, because you back. said, Jermaine, what music are you excited for? J. Cole, J. Cole? And I was like, yeah, Jermaine. That is not what happened. You that said is, you oh, it's recorded. You can play know, it back. I know, and and I will go back to that spot. I will timestamp it and everything. Listen, you was like, what? Listen, don't Linda listen. <laughs> <laughs> and that little kid is hilarious. I hope he got some money off that. He didn't. What? How His you mom know? took it. She gave him some. I mean, Damn. maybe McDonald's. Maybe that's the part of being a minor. Okay. Anyways. No, he was like, that's my, that would be by Drake. When we was just talking hey, about you, how Drake you said flew, you out this it up. flew out this couple. Okay. And then smashed the man's wife, bro. Like, I said what I said, but you brought it up first. You said, let's talk about music. And then you said, what music are you excited for? And before I even said thing. anything, you said J. Cole. So you said his name so, first. It's already rumored that Drake did that to Kanye. So if he could do, if he could do that to Kanye. Yeah. He's going to do that to anybody. He's not doing that to Brian. I'm not smashing Drake. Why not? Because I have... Ew, no. It's a no for me. It's a strong no. Like, I am a Degrassi fan. I used to watch that. So I've seen him from his little corny self grow up to what he is now. Dang, people can't Like, I was into Degrassi. No, he clearly didn't, obviously. He's got a new, like, whole persona every other week. He's not... He's not the... uh, He's still acting. He's not... I don't want to talk about Drake again. Like, he's so gross. I don't want... I mean, some music was cool back in the day with 40 and stuff, but I, like, literally don't want to talk about Drake anymore. He's so annoying. He's getting too much of my energy. Let's talk about Jermaine. He didn't didn't transform into uh, Stefan Urkel? No. Oh, okay. All right. The only TV that we watch together, entertainment that we enjoy... Regularly. Temptation Island. It's our trash TV. This, Ooh, this Married girl, at First Sight is supposed to be on tonight. This girl loves these damn reality TV shows. Yes. I used to want to be on the Bad Girls Club. Go ahead. Keep going. That's it. That was That's my story. Not it. That's not a story. <laughs> that was my story. I used to want to be on the Bad Girls Club. That's it. No one's going to listen to this if that's your story. First of all, I'm changed now. No, I mean, like, if that's your story. One line. One little sentence. We were that's just not a story. We reality TV. I said I used to wanted to be on the Bad Girls Club. Then you said that's it. That's the end of my story. That's it. I mean, everybody that knows me knows why that would be applicable. So why, are you fighting? No, not anymore. Don't make that face. All right, all right. <laughs> okay. Ah, uh, okay. So I guess you know, week to week or whatever, when we drop these, you might have to. We'll have to drop a spoiler alert because we'll be caught up on our shows like Temptation Island and Temptation Island season is over. Married with. Married Abroad. What are these shows? Married at First Sight. <laughs> Married at First Sight. And don't forget about The Puerto Rican Princess. Uh, the Puerto Rican The number Rican one show Princess. in the U.S. Jocelyn's Cabaret. You're not complaining. There's titties all over that. Yeah, but okay. I mean, sure. But is it worth me watching all that ratchet assness in the same year? Well... Kind of. In the same time period. Here goes that, the get off my lawn. I know. Line. I know. It's coming. Get it's off coming. my lawn. At least it's got a fist in there with the get Old off man my yells like clown. Listen. listen. <laughs> Just sometimes. In the same year that I've got Jocelyn's Cabaret. Cabaret. Where she's basically just a madam in a house. Hey, maid. Oh, my God. And on the other hand, we have real queens making things like Black is king, okay? You don't even oh, like Beyonce. Don't, no, now you like, are full of the cap. I like Beyonce after that. She grew up. That's her Stefan Urkel right there. She grew up. Motherland and all. Fire. You're so annoying. Why? That's fire. What? You know what? You're annoying. Go ahead. No, you're so annoying. How are you going to be all of a sudden now you're a Beyonce fan? No, I'm not a Beyonce fan. I'm a Beyonce fan... Oh, Beyonce's your Drake? I'm a Beyonce. <laughs> no, 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 man. Mm-hmm. I don't have a, I don't have that. You don't have what? Whatever you trying to refer to. 
you keep saying you don't want to bring Drake up, but then you already given you already given him a I don't even know what the word is, man. You already making different. <laughs> I <What>? lost it. <laughs> Uh, you're disguising other things with his name, the Drake. You're Drake. You're Drake. You're Drake. But you say you don't want to talk about Drake. I don't. So you're t- I what is Drake? A hall pass? Yeah. Exactly. That's so you word. name. Yeah. That's I don't want. You just said I don't want to talk about Drake like that. I'm giving too much energy. But okay. then you give him a code word. Who's your okay? Who's your hall pass? We can. You can come up with a different word for hall pass. No, it's fine. Okay, so for the people that know don't know what is a hall pass. It means like get out of cheat free card. Get out of cheat free card. That's the craziest thing I ever heard. It means that you've thought about this or heard this phrase or used that phrase before. I'm just saying. Just desecrating the sanctity of Monopoly. Just of like what? that. Monopoly. What's Monopoly? A, a, fam- a family fun friendly board game. Are you talking about using it? This is the person that oh, cheats at Monopoly. Go. I don't cheat at Monopoly. I don't cheat at all. Black men don't cheat. Anymore? Is what? there an asterisk on that now? Nah. Anymore? Nah. Doesn't cheat anymore. You just got my government oh, yeah, all Yeah, clip that. <laughs> <laughs> you got <Dang>. to bleep. <laughs> Scream that. Uh, they meme that one. Scream captured that one. What is it even called? What? Well, they clip it. Oh, they clipped that piece right there. Yeah, clip it. No, I, no. People are going to clip it if it goes out like that. Oh. It's about 30 minute mark right here. Okay. How's that feel? Fun? I mean. What's wrong? It's Make always it more fun, fun to clown on you. But, it's I mean, like that's one of my favorite pastimes. Go ahead, honest. go ahead. Tell tell the audience more about how you just love to clown on me. You hater. They'll have plenty of opportunity to yeah. hear you. You know themselves. why you do that? You know why you do that? You do that because you be trying to bring me back down. You think my ego's too big or something like I that. I think all it's the time. too big. Hold or on, it hold is on. too big. Hold on. You be thinking that my ego is too big or something. Mm-hmm. Like I'm full of myself. I'll be walking around like you like you think you're God's gift of earth and You do. So, if that's what you think, then that could either be true or it could be false. It's cap. So, either way, because it could be true. No, I'm just playing. It is not true. Oh, my God. You're so ag already. What was we talking about? Hall pass. I'm not. Yeah, I'd rather say use. I'd rather name that Drake than get out of cheat free card. That's terrible. Monopoly is a family friendly game. Okay. We're going to keep it that way. All. Unless you're playing. This is what you want to talk about is board games, how I just win, and then no, everybody I says I games. cheat. I don't cheat because I'm win. Oh, my God. Yes, you do. Because I'm good. I'm just good. Okay. Yeah, you're good when you make up your own rules. I don't make up my own, r- r- my own Bro, rules. you're really going to lie to everybody like this. You act like I'm the type of person on, on the Twitter feed that's in Uno's mentions telling them how the game should be played. That's not me. I play by the rules. Okay. Now, here's the difference. Oh, Jesus. Between me and regular peeps, okay? So regular peeps are just going to play by the rules that they think are the rules, right? That's how it normally goes. I'm already bored. Then you're a hater. So (laughs) what happens, why nobody wants to play with me, is because I ask before I even start playing what the rules are. So that way I can kick your ass even more. And then you get mad and say, I cheat. I don't cheat. I just play by the rules. Whatever rules you want to make up. If you make up rules, you change the rule. I'm still going to No, because it will win. tell you what the rules are. You'll be like, okay, cool. And then halfway through, you'll be like, that's not the rules. Look that's at the rule true. book. Look that's at the rule not true. book. That's not true. That's not oh true. Oh, my God. Can we move on? Odd cap. <laughs> Can we move on? Yeah, of course. What you want to move on to? So TV, trash TV. How come you keep skirting this hall pass thing? I legitimately don't have one. That is, see, you said you weren't going to lie. No, I, I literally don't. I don't have that's a weird. That's a weird concept to me. To you. Yeah, to me. To you. Yeah, to me. To you. When we're talking about, we've been together for how long on paper? You're gonna start lying again. Here it comes. You're come. lying. Here it comes. How I'm lying? Here it comes. I'm gonna prep all y'all. Here it comes. Some. No, I just want to know. I just want to know how we've been together for a blank amount of years. Okay. On paper. But okay. you're talking about you don't even know what a hall pass looks like. You don't know what that is. You don't ever da 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 da. Yeah. <laughs> tell me, <laughs> tell me where I'm. Oh, I don't care who tell me, especially nah. you. Nah, you tripping? I'm tripping. Yeah. I'm, okay, then how long we been together for? You know, you know, a few decades. I am not that old, first of all, sir. 
You're definitely that old. I'm definitely not a few decades old. We got teenagers. Okay, no, first multiple of all. Ones. <laughs> multiple. Multiple. Not multiple. I guess multiple. three is kind of multiple. Bruh. But I didn't birth all those babies, and you didn't make all those babies, so. Okay. You made it sound like we got a 19-year-old, a 17-year-old, a 15-year-old, like. How did I make it sound like that? Because you said we got multiple no, teenagers. No, first of all. Let's te- tell the blended no. family story, okay? First of, <laughs> first of all, teen starts at 13. You went to the extreme. You was like 19. But that's what I'm saying. You said multiple yeah, you teenagers. Were, like yeah. we have, we're that old it that we be, have 19, 17, right. 15, 13. No, nah, it could be 13, 14, 15, 16. But it's not. It could be 13, 15, 16, 17. Mm-hmm. Why'd you go to 19? Because, I don't know. Because exactly. you made it sound like you're super old. By saying we got teenagers? Yeah, multiple. So people that don't kids that don't have kids, they just think of teenagers and they think of 19. That's no, not true. No, they just think of multiple teenagers, which means you had to have started. Yeah, yeah multiple means... There's space means in between them. Yeah, That's all. right. Yeah. That means they have to be older, right? But not 19. You don't know that. I just gave you... I just I literally definitely, gave you two no. scenarios. Okay, whatever. Anyways, we're going to talk about family dynamic and structure and <laughs> our unique situation with that. That'll be pretty fun, huh? Super fun. Like, it is every day. Are we talking about that every day? No. Oh, you just mean, like, <laughs> I see what you're saying. You clowning on everybody. Listen. Do you like anyone? I, yeah, I'm Jermaine. <laughs> ah, just kidding. You know, yeah, I just see, had to go yeah, there. It's brought, fine. Yeah, you it's brought, fine. It, brought it back around. I see. Yeah, sure yeah. did. See what I did? That yeah. comedian tied it right back into it. It's called the callback. Okay. Well, that's You're such a nerd. Seriously. <laughs> it's called the callback. <laughs> It might not even be. Oh, my God. You're so annoying. I know. So aggy. Last but not least. Last but not least. Yes, on our topics that we're going to. I'm bringing it back. I'm trying to keep us back. on. I'm trying to rear us. Rear back. Wait, is it real? I'm trying to rear. (laughs) What do you say? You're trying to rear it? (laughs) (laughs) I'm trying to rear it. That was like a. Real. Maybe I'm trying to steer it back. Maybe that's what I meant. Maybe. No, it was real. I'm trying to reel it back in. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You know? Because mm-hmm. of that theme? Yeah, 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 yeah. Reel it back in. Ooh. Rear it in. All right. My bad. Dang. Play is mess up. I thought you weren't a player. I'm not. I thought black men don't cheat. That, what does that have to do with being a player? Nothing. You have to be in a relationship to cheat. Players are in relationships. See, y'all. Nah, see. Mm-mm. I got some advice for all the. We don't want it. The women out there. Okay. All right, well. Last mm-hmm. but not least, because mm-hmm. we got current events that we're going to talk about. Mm-hmm. Basically, Twitter news. Yeah. Music. Sports. Mm-hmm. Sports is going to be basketball and football only. Yeah. Not college, because I don't believe in not none of that. Mm. We can talk about all that if we need to, too. Look, yes. It's just indentured servi- servitude. But anyways, all right. Anyways. Trash TV. Why can't we talk about, like, some good TV? Like, like great shows. Like what? Like all of them. They're all bloody. Nobody wants to watch that. Yeah, we got to talk about why. Yeah, yeah. I don't watch bloody shows. But that's just that's just the technology of like, the, just the psychopaths? technology. No, it's just the technology. No, no, only psychopaths think that they need to add that into everything. No, it's been there since like the Psycho era movies and stuff. Mm-hmm. Psycho. I guess you got me there. Kind of, kind of. Yeah, caught yourself up with that one, huh? I kind of... Reared, reared it back in. Reared that <laughs> shit right into the right into the sand. Anyways, last but not least, the reason that we're starting this podcast on a serious note, right? Yeah. Well, this is not a serious note, but I mean, never mind. Is we're going to talk about the political climate of, you know, where we live. This good old country of the United States and raising kids in this yeah. climate. Yeah, honestly, that was a terrible idea. <laughs> yes. And mostly giving our experience and giving our advice on... Navigating school age kids, mostly elementary school, right? Yeah. And like having IEPs and special needs kids because we are also in that situation where we have, you know, special needs. Baby. Child. That's my baby. And dealing with, you know, all the fun work that comes with. It's not it really is, fun. It's, it is fun. I, I have a lot of fun with it. That's because you don't have a temper problem. Yeah, we can talk about that too. Now we gotta talk about my temper problem. Well, I mean, you. I mean, I don't know. Are, are you gonna you gonna you gonna swing on me while we talking on the mic or something crazy? I'm just playing. I'm just playing. <laughs> I'm edit that out. 
<laughs> That's so not going to happen. But we are going to try to give our experience on having a special needs child and going through the IEP process and trying to shed light on parents' rights because what we've because seen... Because they play too much. Yeah, in the words of Taryn, they play too much. But yes, we've seen a lot of other families and, and other parents that might not know as much as we do. So that's why we're here, to give our knowledge. Right? Yeah. That's what I'm already irritating. Because? Because it's just so stressful and they're so ag and it's just it's Just Florida like, going Florida. Too soon? Just kidding. <laughs> story's nasty. It hurts my feelings. I mean, yeah. It's, uh, tales all this time. Is it, though? In this country... Well, but is it though? It's not really. No, because there was a time where that wasn't even like thing. These public schools and their segregation and everything else that goes with it. They didn't have to worry about these nasty <laughs> that just decided that they. No, I'm serious. They just decide that they're going to do whatever they want to these minority kids because they think there's no repercussions or because they know they're going to get away with it. I did have a. Uh... I guess an epiphany, not an epiphany. I had a deep think about it. You had a deep think and I about came, it. Yeah, I came to the conclusion that, well, the history of this country where, you know, law enforcement has come from, you know, evolved yeah. from, like, sl- slave patrols and things like that, mm-hmm. things of that nature. And one of the things is that the spouses of these people mm-hmm. that transitioned over time from the slave patrol to law enforcement, yeah, they want to do their part as well. In the family, in their, the grand family, the grand clux family. I don't know. I'm just kidding. But they want to do their part, too, in maintaining the law and order. Because it's law and order, law and order, law and order. And so on the male side, right, mm-hmm. you have these people that want to be law enforcement. Right. Law and order, right? On the female side, Dumb. you're going to have... What? I didn't you know you were going to this. No, no, you can say female. Well, oh. I, I don't know. I don't know if you can. I do. Well, yeah, well. I guess you're going to find out when they're in your mentions. On the lady side, <laughs> I don't think I have to worry about those for on this topic, but hey, no big deal. On the lady side, they want to do their part with law and order, law and order too. They believe that same thing that they're, they're, with, the, they're with those guys for a reason. They share the same views. Yeah. So... Women t- typically care more about the kids and helping the kids. So the men, That's sexist. they're on the... No, it's not. Listen, listen. How is that sexist? That's just nature. Women, How is the nature? Because women birth the kids and they love the children. That's yeah. nature. Well, then something's wrong with me. I'm broken. What happened to you? What are you I talking just, about? You love the kids. Yeah, but I don't want to like deal with them all the time. <sighs> Anyways. So... The law and order side, okay? So the women want to do their part of law and order, so they're going to go in the school system and they're going to teach the children. Yeah. They want to enforce law and order because they oh, think... Oh, nasty. But to those people, law and order is the way. Have you ever thought about that aspect? Have you heard that before? I mean, no, really, but it makes sense. It's just like the whole situation is just aggravating because at the end of the day, like, these are babies and they're babies. And as we've seen from, you know, some of the different resources that we're going to share on the, on the podcast you know yeah. what's it called the ocr am i right with the, the, what? the ocr the data thing OCR, oh yeah OCR. yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. you see these people just enforcing law and order in the school system yeah for sure disproportionately yeah yeah just like real life it's called the school just prison like pipeline. outside yeah of the school system yeah on the male side it goes hand in hand that system works like this i'm pretty sure i saw that i think it was on i think it was like on that um exterminate all the brutes documentary Didn't that just came that. out it's cool but you know it's 2021 so it's bloody like right technology of yeah. just, just visual effects so there's parts that are just bloody but overall the message is spot on history of the u.s and before that you gotta check it out sometime Mm-mm. maybe i'll just fast forward all the parts that are you know extra and then I'll show you the segments that are. Does not, have to do with the school bloody. system? Everything. Well, no, because then I'm gonna watch it and then I'm gonna be up at the school acting even more of an ass. So, you want those problems? I mean, I'm sure you're already gonna do that already. I've been good. All right, so it's time to lighten lighten the mood and talk about something else, more fun. But the, but those are the topics that we're probably gonna cover. 
Let's cover I'm, the fact that you lost your other wedding ring and you still can't find it. Where did that even come from? The fact that I'm looking at this janky one. Okay, first of all, none of my stuff is janky. Not even the stuff that's old to you and get and you feel the need to have to replace something that works just perfectly fine. You know. It was crusty. That's like the spousal way to replace the wallet that doesn't need to be replaced. If it looks Them damn crusty. walls need to be replaced? <laughs> yes. Shit's falling apart, duct taped on them. Yeah. Nah, my wallet's ain't got no duct tape on it. I know, because I replaced them before I get to that point. You're welcome. I don't think I would do that. What? I would like. You would most definitely finagle it, black it. duct tape. I would heat press it or something, something so crazy. Right. I know, I know. I'd make it a project. To How fix about you my... make it a project to find your ring? That's funny that you said that because today I actually went through where I thought it was one of the places where I thought it would be. Yeah. You know, since you had to go ahead and rearrange the whole room. I organized. Okay. Since you, yeah, you organized me to take, you organized by take it outside ordering me to take my crap <laughs> outside of the bedroom it was messy you're a messy just my stuff it was messy just my stuff yeah my stuff looks great thank now, you very much yeah, yeah because I organized you took all the shelving it. that was where First all my all, stuff I, and you moved it because to put it your looked stuff like a it. garage like you kept tools in it and that was nasty i have like leggings Bro, I, we i use my tools man see what i did there hardy har go ahead Continue. <laughs> but anyways, I did look in the two two other places over here that I thought, you know, in my nightstand where I thought it might be. It wasn't in there. So it's probably, you know, moved to the shed garage thing, makeshift where you put my stuff. I didn't put you it there. Made, you made me put all my belongings in the he shed. That's because yeah, they are outside yeah, You're making that face because that's all true. No podcast. they are outside cap. belongings. <laughs> no. Yes, they are. Tools are outside belongings. No. Nah. Yes, they are. They're, we no, not when you need them in the house all the time. You act like it's like we have a ginormous Kim and Kanye size place, and you have to like. It's not about call that. The it's maid not about that. To no, like it's not. tell the butler <laughs> to call the valet to get your stuff. No, like, come on, man. It's not about that. It's about I knew the location of the stuff. Now I don't. How did you move something <laughs> where you knew it was at? And you literally just moved the thing to a different location. That thing would still be in the same spot in the new location. Because in the process of moving the said yeah. shelving, I had to mix it all up. No, that's not. You know, that's not even true because that I had to mix. True. Half of my stuff is over there. Why was your ring in there? Oh, my ring might actually be in there. Why would it be in there? Because that's it was over by my stuff. You're so irresponsible. The new ring was a little big. It was. I was about to fall. It was about but to now fall it's off. not. Tell the truth. It was, gonna tell it was about to fall off in the sand like Keith. Isn't that him? Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> My shit's about to fall in the sand. Yeah, do you see And you'd have been freaking like out like homegirl. First of all, no. I would have just bought a new one. She was egg. She was so egg. A little prude. Mm, 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 mm. All of that Keith just standing right there. And she was like, hey, virgin. Jesus rocks. <laughs> loser you can't say that why sorry that's what she was like well jesus rocks okay keith probably rocked too whoa i'm just saying yeah she found out she when she went through sample. his stuff yeah see didn't even sample it jesus wouldn't want that for her i don't think the audience knows quite knows what you're talking about what are you talking about go ahead married and elaborate. At first sight. married at first sight last season no like two seasons three seasons ago oh we missed a season we missed like two interesting the timeline knows who Keith is. I'm sure you do. I said the timeline. I'm sure all y'all do. Yeah, nasty. I'm just saying, she wasn't even trying to bust it open for her husband, so she was kind of like... She ain't know that, dude. So? That's a stupid show. Why? Because... Because you don't even know. It's not I a stupid do, show. I do know. Because... <sighs> okay, so the, here's the listen, whole thing. Linda, no, no, no. I got you, I got you, no, I got you. No, Linda, got you. listen to me. I got you, I got you. I swear to I God, got I got you. Miss- Relationship should be focused on the relationship. Yeah. Not some title, not some piece of paper, not some, you know what I mean? Some people call it a marriage is a business decision, blah, 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 blah. It and is. Tax credit, blah, blah, blah. No. Relationships should be focused on the dang relationship. And that's it. The two or three, now we're seeing these young kids, three parties involved. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Whatever. It should just be focused on the relationship between those people. And that's it. So... On these shows, the reason these shows work 
is because they're throwing these people with this title and they don't have any relationship. They're literally building a relationship after they got this title. That's why the show works. That's why it's entertaining. That's it. The point is, is that especially for the deeply religious people on this show who think that everything is ordained by whatever they believe in and they wait till they're married to smack then they're married but then they don't do it so what is it really is it really church no is it really no 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 no. i think i'm gonna play the advocate here of course you are i know that's what I do. Because you just like to argue with me. I do not like to argue with you. Yes, you do. But you know you just... This is... No. Marriage works fine for a, a lot of people. You just don't hear about it because you only hear about it when stuff doesn't work. Right? Yeah. Maybe. No, know. you know. So, all these things, all these, you know, excuses and... All it... How am I trying to say this? The only thing... How are in you church, trying to say this? In church... It's basically just trying to set a guideline. Like, oh, you shouldn't be doing this, 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 such and such and such. You shouldn't, I'm going to say it broader. Mm -hmm. You shouldn't be doing relationship stuff when you're not in a relationship. Mm -hmm. That's common knowledge, right? You shouldn't be doing what? Twitter would agree with me, right? You shouldn't be doing relationship stuff when you're not in a relationship. What's relationship stuff? You know how the timeline be like, queens know your worth. You shouldn't be doing girlfriend type stuff when you're not the girlfriend. You shouldn't be doing wife type stuff when you're not the wife, right? So that's all it's saying. In I church, mean, no, listen, listen. In church, you shouldn't, you shouldn't be doing relationship stuff if you're not in a relationship. It's simple. They're it's just not setting, really simple. They're, it you is. Have to it's earn very your simple. Keep first, because you're talking to somebody yeah, that is in build corporate a America. Build a relationship. First. You got to do the job first before you get the the title. You got to prove that you yeah, can do the job first. Absolutely. Establish okay. a relationship for all the stuff that comes. With the relationship. But is marriage not the ultimate relationship? It's just the relationship recognized by outside people. That's where it messes up. Because the relationship is just between the two people. The inner workings of the two people. That's it. It shouldn't, ha it shouldn't have any input. Well, I mean, it should have some. But it shouldn't have a majority of input from the outside people. Telling you, oh, you should do this, you should do this. If something works for two people, let it work. We're going to talk about that. On our structure. Yeah. Because our structure isn't the cookie cutter, normal, nuclear thing, whatever. Right. Right? So two people or three people. You keep saying that. I know. I'm trying to be. It's not I'm happening. Try, I'm trying to keep. No, no, not for me. Oh. I'm in a relationship. I'm not adding to my relationship. My relationship is built. It's done. You That's the point. scary. That's what we're doing right now? <laughs> That's what we're doing? Yeah. That's what we're doing. That's what we're doing. Not right now. We're not doing that. Okay. <laughs> Scary about what? I'm always trying to say something profound, and then you be getting bored, and then you be <laughs> capping. How's the cap? Nah. You do not want two bitches. That escalated quickly. I'm just saying. What do you mean? In regards to what? In a relationship? Yeah. Do I want to be with two girls in a relationship? Yeah. No. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. One, one is enough. And plenty of guys will say that. I don't know if I should feel proud or, like, confused. Like, I am not that big of a handful. We gonna, the podcast going to find out. I'm really not. They're going to find out. I'm, like, self-sufficient. Okay. I can take care of my own self. Self-sufficient? Oh, I'm about to put all your business on blast. How? How am I not? You just putting up curtains and fell over off the chair. <laughs> self-sufficient. But did it get done? Yeah, you almost got done. But did it get done? You almost got done. But did it get done? Okay, but who bought the curtains? The hot... The hot... <laughs> Just saying, you're not going to play me. Like, I can't take care of myself because I, I can't even do. I didn't say that. I know you can. You're an adult. You're a grown-up. That's cool. You can handle yourself. Right. So but I'm not if you thought, were, like, if, but that if much you, of a handful. I didn't say that. I just, like, two. Would you want to be with two of me? My God, I don't even want to be with one of you. Exactly. Like, so how I come I can't to, say like, that? So how come I can't say that? Because mine is realistic. Yours is not. My what? You're, you're a pain in the ass. I'm not. You're not a pain in the ass. No, I'm the an angel. The podcast will find out. They're gonna find out. They're I'm gonna, a blessing. I no. The podcast's not gonna find out. I'm gonna. <laughs> I'm gonna throw these clips into later episodes. Yeah. Now I have documentation. You know I'm the documentation guy. I'm a blessing. Like I'll be on the text message. Just text me. Don't phone call me. Text me so I can. I got records of what the hell we was talking about. Yeah, and then you go search them up, That's and then why. you're like. 
Oh. That's happened one time out of 15,000. Uh, no, 15,000. You heard? You're so annoying. Fun, Why are you CBJ facing me right now? I don't know what that means. You know what that means. That, that, right there, the rat face. Oh, the grown man talented I get money face? The scammer face. Oh. I don't have a scammer face. I'm not a scammer. Tell me the last scam I did. She wants to say Dogecoin. Yeah. Man, sure that's, not, that's not don't, a scam. I don't want to talk about that. I want to talk about that even less than I want to talk about Certified Lover Dogecoin Boy. Dogecoin to the moon. No. My God. Please no. Why me? We got 59 minutes. And we didn't even get you started on that yet. Yeah. and That's going to be a podcast without T. Yeah. Yeah. We could, probably, we could probably do a couple of those too, you know, when... When you're not available, then I can uh, convert over to the topics that nerds want to know about. Yeah, sure, whatever. If you want to, you know, take them, take them shots, girl. Take shots, 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 shots. Go ahead. Just saying. And when I'm not available, if you feel like you want to do, I don't want to ever do it by myself. You might. I don't. I'll listen. I'll laugh. I'll I don't want to do it by myself. You were gonna have to do no. at least one. No. Promise. Why? Cause, For what purpose? Because I have ideas, right? Ideas about what? The podcast. Okay, this so podcast. the podcast, and you have ideas that are your ideas, and you do it. No, ideas for the podcast. You are not my script person. We are in a relationship. That means we listen to each other. We don't do that. And we, yes, we do. <laughs> yes, yes, we do. We listen to each other, and we take each other's advice, and we apply those. We don't take each other's advice. Look you take my right advice? Now. What advice are you giving me? But yes, absolutely, I take your advice. Of course I take your advice. How I learned how to make pico de gallo on this Cinco de Mayo, uh, bars, and I didn't take your advice. I wouldn't know how to do that without you. Let's be real. That's just a simple one of millions. That's not really advice. Taking, that's just showing you how to do something. That's not advice. That's what we're doing already? It's not really advice. Already arguing the meaning of words. That's what we do that's every advice. day. That's advice. No, it's That not. is clearly advice. No, it's not. Let's ask Alexa. We can ask the podcast. Hey, Alexa. Hey, podcast. What's the definition of advice? Wah, wah, wah. Come on. See, this is what I'm talking about. You always got to be extra. And why she take so long? Off. Just, why do you? Defined as an opinion or recommendation offered as a guide to action. Thank you. Etc. An opinion. For more. Or what action. did she say? Recommendation. Yeah, recommendation. In regards to action, yeah. How I cook this pico. Oh, How I do recommend. you know cook pico? <laughs> See, there you go. That's a, There you go. See, I don't know still, so I'm going to take oh more of your recommendation. My recommendation Prepare. is that you don't. When you mix something in a bowl, that's making it. That's cooking it. To me. That's not cooking. That's making it. Preparing it. Preparing it. Okay. To consume it. Not cooking. It's not that hard. To What's know not that, that hard? That's not cooking. What What is cooking? Cooking, um... Requires a heat source. And a peasant. It's me, I'm the peasant. Are we cooking a little bit now? Well, then I'm then. taking your advice, see? What are you cooking? I'll be making them waffles. Is that cooking? It's a Is heat source asking? and mixing some ingredients together and putting it on a heat <laughs> source. And then, yeah, that's science. It's cooking. Ooh. You're a jerk. Waffles, bomb. Bomb, bomb, bomb. It's my specialty. Honestly, it's my favorite everybody's favorite i like my waffles when your food gets requested by somebody else yeah on some random mm-hmm. then it's all right that's it's my fun. that's my gauge i only got two i only got two meals two tortilla soup yeah <laughs> and my waffles yeah back in the day when i was a peasant you know i hooked up them struggle meals too i got requested for them struggle meals that's earlier time in my life. Don't worry that about makes it. sense with your past don't worry about it i could hook up a struggle meal you don't even know a struggle I know a struggle meal. But you don't know a struggle. How do you not know a struggle struggle, but I know a struggle meal? That means I know a struggle. Because I know you. We've been together for a redacted amount of years. Wow. What else do you have to say? We're at the hour mark. How's that feel? Like you're just as annoying as ever. But I love you so much. Just Ew, a- that neck. <laughs> yeah, no, God, <laughs> that was loud. I'm going to have to cut that out. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Uh, yeah, just a little bit. Oh, looking good You're on telling me. too much information on the timeline. So? You're not so supposed to tell people. Why, are they going to figure out how old you are? 
Yo, bad. First of all, I'm younger than you, so please relax. Second okay. of all, you are giving away too much information. You're talking about government name, but you're over here telling people how old you are. What's Do you know how that? easy it is to find your information online now that I just know your age? Well, I can't bleep it out. That's the that's yeah. the joys of this. You're going to have to. Come on, man. Come on, man. Well, we just had an internet safety course with the children, and now you're over here blowing it for yourself. Just an age. An age is not... That's, I can here, find your age, whole life listen, with listen, just your first name. What are you the, talking about? The age is a bad thing when it's a young age. When you're an adult and it's old, nobody cares when you put your age out there. I got the 19, like when you, you know, the little mm-hmm. youngsters be carding you. Oh, I see you got the one. I see you got the 19. Like, mm-hmm. youngster. I don't even, I didn't even get carded like the last three times I bought. Yeah, because they saw the 19 last time. They remember. That's easy to remember. Like, hmm, do they have a one or a two? That's kind of crazy. It's kind of scary. You're kind of old. What else would you like to talk about? I don't know. What do you want to talk about? Um, hmm. Well, since we're going to try to get this little, this is like our intro prequel. Yeah. Chop it up, chopping screws, shenanigans. But we're talking about current events, so we got to drop it soon. Probably going to drop on Sundays. I really want to talk about that Khaled album because it's amazing and everybody says it sucks, and I really got to talk about that. Donkey Poo. Hmm. <sighs> It's really bad. Damn Even Beep joy. song is bad, and you know I stand a Bieber. That Beep song's not that good on that album, but that's I'm not checking for Beeps. Well, I'm always checking for Beeps. Bieber belly. What's wrong with you? I'm just saying. Do you like Do you like female artists? Yeah, Jocelyn, the Puerto Rican princess. No, 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 female music artists like that sing and rap. I just well, first of all, you hear her music every sing week. and rap. Don't be shady. Sing or rap. It's fine. Well. Well, well. Um, Keyword, well. I like Mulatto. Yeah, Mulatto go. But that's old music. We're talking about DJ Khaled. She has, he has multiple guest verses mm-hmm. from our Lady MC's killing the shit right now. Cardi. And you haven't heard none of it. About Cardi's Reebok stuff. We're going to have to stay focused a little bit. <laughs> Cardi's Reebok stuff. Cardi had a Reebok collab. Yeah. Second one, yeah? It no, should have no, been no. mine. Second one. I mean, if we're being Second real. collab for her. Yeah. Yeah. Terrence mad because she stands for... Reebok. Reebok. I'll Reebok everything. Just because of AI, bro. You just, First you of just all, love everything that's related to a dude. <laughs> Shots fired. <laughs> but for real. But for real what? You love Reebok because of AI. Okay. Okay. Can I help you? So then you but can't. everybody wanted to be like... That's not cool, swaggerless, whoop de whoop de whoop. But then why I had to wait in a whole entire queue Check online to get this Cardi drop? But I thought nobody liked Reebok. Check I thought it wasn't out. cool. Like my whole closet is all Reebok, but I had to wait in line like a peasant to get this drop. But like I got a, it though. So what do you mean funny. like a peasant? You waited in your bed online in the online queue. That's not really I, like a peasant. First of all, yes, it is. I am the highest tier that you can be in the Reebok loyalty. <laughs> which is game. what? Which is what? Nobody like knows. Level five. I know. Level four. There's just goes levels. The one, yeah. two, three, four, five. They yeah. don't have any creative name for it. I don't know. Come on, I just man. submit. That's all I know. So I'm there. Add to cart. That's you. <sighs> Add to cart. First of all, that's not what we're talking Tally about. Tally up my points. Add to yeah, cart. Just run me my points. So oh my I have God. all these Reebok points. I've earned my Keep It Reebok, and I still had to wait in line like a peasant okay. for this drop that everybody said that they didn't want. Ooh, Reebok. Ooh, it's wireless. Ooh, blah, blah. Listen. No. Why? You don't because, listen? Because, no, I'm very upset about this, though. I feel like I should have gotten, like, first priority seating over this. To do what, though? To purchase what I wanted to purchase. But you got it all that you need. But needed. I had to wait in a queue. What was your number in the queue? I don't know, but I had to wait. You do not like lines, waiting, and queues. Correct. None of that. Why not? Because I'm... Because you're an impatient person. Go ahead. The mic's right there. Right there. For what? The mic's right there. <laughs> I see it. Yeah, tell it. Tell it what? <laughs> you're impatient. That I am a top-tier Reebok loyalty member. Listen, you're talking about me... You criticizing me for dropping my age on the podcast. Yeah. But you talking about you've been in Reebok when it was cool, uncool, and cool again. You know how many years it takes for a brand to be cool, uncool, and cool again? You know, but all I'm I the hear one, about that you, is loyalty. Uh, but loyalty. I am the one that's putting too much info. You putting all the info. You sound like you 50. First of all, I'm fine. Not 50. Loyalty. That's what it, he sounds like to me. But I'm not wishy-washy. 
Mm-hmm. I like what I like. Yeah, 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 you do. Yeah, I do. Yeah, you do. Let this all ties back into suit. basketball. I'm just saying, like, yeah. back to when You're Alan staying. Iverson was on the Nuggets and Carmelo and Kenyon Martin and J.R. Smith. Yeah, a whole team of tattooed guys. It was a dream. Yeah, I bet. It was the best season. What is wrong with you? Just saying. I really love I'm you. not for tattoos. We know. Like, why? Why not? You, Can't the artist. what you, I would put on myself. That's the it. creative. It's permanent, man. Okay. But it's really not. But it is, though. It's permanent. I can't. You know how many designs I make every day? Like, yeah, I can't you choose. Washy. No, 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 no. I'm just, keep, I just keep creating. Here we go. Does Kanye have tattoos? A bunch of tattoos? No. You Does know why? Because every day. Does he have a bunch? He's covered? No. He's plastered? No. Because he's creating every day. He creates so much stuff that the stuff that he creates yesterday, like, I can't get a tattoo of that. Okay. I'm so what the about next all thing. these tattoo artists that are creative and creative and creating and... They get, they get other people to tattoo them. Yeah, but they're, they're still blasting. Of other people's stuff. But they're still blasting. No, they're blasting other people, but they when their own tattoos are other people's stuff. Okay. Yeah, that's... Yeah, because... So you could go get a tattoo of other people's stuff, too. You should go ahead. Find me some. You know what art I like that's dope? Cool. Sounds good. I would do that. No, you wouldn't. I would do that. You would not. You don't even have a tattoo now. Now? We're talking about, yeah, but that shit is expensive, too. For no reason. That's, they be gouging. They be you gouging. For no reason. You just said it was permanent. That's you want to pay, you want something people, to be cheap, you want an artist. You, you're you over here talking about art and NFTs and all these other art things and how they, ooh, he sold it for whatever, these pictures of himself online for, I don't know, some astronomical price. But you want to talk about how tattoos are expensive, but you think it's cool that a digital picture is going for millions and millions of dollars. Like, that's not cool at all. We will, we will explain. I will explain probably by myself. Correct. The NFT joint and why it is revolutionary. Tattoo's not revolutionary. Yes, it is. Yeah, it is. You can put this is just walking billboard, billboard yourself. Yeah. Add yourself. Right, but you don't want cheap work on your body. No, of course not. Right, so that's why they're but expensive. All the work you get is what expensive. you pay for. No, no, no. Just like titties, no, like you can't even, go to a cheap ass surgeon. No, all the all the work, even the cheap work in plastic surgery and tattoos, all the cheap work is still astronomically expensive. For what it is. I don't think you even know. You can't even comment on that because you don't even have a tattoo or a tattoo quote. What are you talking about? A tattoo or a tattoo quote from yes. a art from a tattoo artist? Yes. I have seen a quote from a tattoo artist. What were you about to get? Not me, you. I'll be paying attention. I was there when you was trying to get your tattoo from Ness, right? I did get a tattoo from Ness. Right. And I was there for the whole quote process. He's trying to say I'm not. You weren't there for that. I went and got that tattoo by myself. No, I'm not saying I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about I know how much it was. How much was it? At the time, I know knew how much it was. Yeah, exactly. Now I don't. It's yeah. in the past. I don't care. Money spent, gone. Like Disneyland passes. Money spent, gone. <laughs> Keep moving forward. Don't bring up Disneyland right now. <laughs> they broke up with me, and I don't want to talk about it. Uh, they didn't break up with you. The whole world shut down. They broke up with me. Also. You didn't like forget my know. point. We were supposed to be talking about Khaled. I see what you did there. Skirt, skirt. Hmm. <sighs> We're talking about Cardi's verse, and you want to bring it to Reebok. Ain't nobody want to hear about Reebok, bruh. Well, apparently they do, because I had to wait in the queue. <laughs> you had to wait in the queue because it was Cardi's fans. What are they called? I don't know. What's your fans going to be called? I need Reebok to be my fans so I can have a collab. Oh, my God. Reebok, if you're listening, I'm ready. Wow. I'm just saying. Trying to get sponsored by Reebok? Yes. That's swag. Oh, my God. I'd be so happy. I'm going to steal your sponsorship. No. Yeah, I No, so. you're not the creative in this relationship. I am. You stop it. <laughs> <laughs> what do you do, by the way? Who are you? What do I what do? What the hell do you do? I'm a boss. Okay, thanks. What are you what do you do? Boss. Are you an RN? A what? An RN. What's that? A nurse? Aren't you a nurse? Oh god, no. Then what you we do? just talked about blood. Why would I be a nurse? We didn't talk about blood. We talked about bloody oh. TV shows. Yeah. I'm super cool. There's no way. Where I'm not that? touching Why is people. that? Why, why, are you, why are you squeamish? That's the word. It's squeamish. I am There's squeamish. There's a word for it. Why? I don't know. I think it's because, I don't know, actually, because I always had injuries around me growing up. Myself, my siblings. Yeah, still falling off chairs and stuff. Shut up. I, there was no blood. You don't know that. 
You got a lot of hair. Remember that time you got I got a lot of hair up there. <laughs> Remember that time I cut the tip of my finger off in the quarantine and then I almost died and passed out? You get hurt so much. I know. I really do. It's really ridiculous, actually. What's the word for it? I think the... Um, clutzy? Clumsy. Oh, yeah. yeah there you me. go. Clumsy, klutzy. Cute and klutzy. Is klutzy a word? I think so. I think it is, too. But that sounds weird. Yeah, a little bit. But whatever. It's a little I thought it was just a klutz, but klutzy is a yeah. word? Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Like Aggie. We're definitely going to debate... The word English language. That's what we do regularly. Mm -hmm. You hate it so much, too. Yeah. Because I'm always right. No, you're not. <laughs> you're so annoying. My God. You're literally uh, the most annoying person on this planet. Uh, why? I mean, do we need to play this back already? You can hear for yourself this time how annoying you are. That's so The funny part about that is you're right. I do have to play this back and edit it. So yeah. if I am annoying, I'm going to cut that shit clean out. Mm -hmm. I'm just you're kidding. Like, I'm going to leave it out. People out your tattoos. I don't even know tattoos. I mean. I don't need no tattoos. Maybe like an know. enhancement. What else? What else do dudes be doing? Fronts. What is that? Like grill. No, 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 I know what that is, but what is that infatuation? That's what I meant. What do you mean? It's not the fronts. It's the Who's wearing fronts and the type of... This is stereotypical. What are you talking who, about? Listen. Let's talk about plies. Listen. Okay. The stereo... He took him out for his mama. I know. Ew. Yeah. Mama's boys she gotta said, go. She said she got her baby back. That's disgusting. <laughs> That's just she hilarious. can have him now. <laughs> That's hilarious. But for real. It's no... It's not that. It's the type of people that are attached to fronts. Listen. I'll explain it. If one day... You can listen to me one more time. Why? Why you don't like that? No. Why? I... Cause it sounds like I'm a child. No, it doesn't. Yes, it does. To children, I say there's more. I say listen up. <laughs> I don't ever say that. I know. <laughs> I'm making shit up. <laughs> you sure are. <laughs> your podcast. What would, you, what would you rather me say when I'm about to make a point? You are not about to make a point. Shit. How about you make a point? How about you just make a point? I make so many points. Hmm. I'm a baller. No. I don't know. Didn't work? Didn't I don't play. think. No, it wasn't for me. You don't know Brian the baller? You missed that time in my life? No, Brian I was around. I know, because it's now. See what I did there? No. Yeah. Mm. It's a dunk. Bang. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. <laughs> All right, anyways. It's the type of person that these friends are attached to. If one day... This some rapper decided to freaking roll up one of his pant legs, yeah, just on a whim, like LL Cool J. It was a joke. Oh, can you let me finish the joke? I'm sorry. God dang it! <laughs> if a rapper decides that one day, like Method be, Man, I think it'd be dope if you just roll up one pant leg. Did that person like forget to roll up both of them, or like that was like? That's what I'm saying. These people just be trying random stuff, just putting, you know, you know who, foil on their teeth, bubblegum wrappers and shit on their teeth. Who was the first person that put gold fronts in? It's probably, it's probably like some like Egyptian kings and queens shit. It's, I, I don't know. know. I gotta look it up. That shit is terrible. It looks like it, it's gonna make your breath smell worse, and it's gonna. Ugh, oh my god. It's braces. That's what it is. It's braces that you can take in and out. It literally is braces, and braces make your teeth. Dirtier. When you have braces, you got to clean your teeth more than the average person that doesn't have braces. Correct or not? Yeah. It's mm, the same. You just have to clean them differently. Yeah. Better. You got to get the flossy, like, yeah, all of you have to Yeah, get, you have to clean them more than the not. It's the yeah, same thing with the fronts. I no, I, yes, you do. No. You have braces. You do know. Yeah, I had braces. That's why I'm saying, like, I don't feel like I had to, like, extra clean them anymore. Yes, you like, did. you just had to be extra precautious with, like, the floss. You just said You had to extra. use, like, a little, like... You just said you have yeah, to the be extra. Yeah, not to not... You're doing the same routine. You just have to do it a different way. It's extra. still the same routine. But it's not extra cleaning. It's just a different way to do it. You literally said extra, like... Three you are extra. I say that about you every day. No, you said you have Can to we get do... back to like tattoos and basketball or something? That's all you want to talk about is dudes. We could talk about white ones like Birdman. He's blasted and on the nuggets. The podcast has no idea what you're talking about. <sighs> They're old. Yes, they do. They don't have any idea who you're talking about. Okay. Well, yeah, they do because somebody he was on the has heat. no idea who you're talking about. Okay. Well, that's their bad. So explain it. What do I have to explain? He was on the whole Denver Nuggets crew, the fine one, the white boy, you know. You're Mohawk. literally talking about something that was like 20 years ago. First of all, do you know that? it was like 10. Relax. Do you know that though? Okay. Well, it was a happy time. Nobody wants to hear you talk about 10 years ago. Why? What happened 10 years ago then? That's a happy time. 
I don't know. I forgot. No, you lying. No, I swear to Cap. God, I forgot. Pod cap. We're talking about 10, 11 years ago or Whatever. late? I don't know what trying to story are you reminiscing over there. I did a lot of things in that decade. But what I was saying about the pant legs is these rappers literally do whatever. And yeah. you're like, oh my God, I love fronts. No, you don't love fronts. You just love who the type of person that they're on. That's it. Admit okay, it. Well, they look I, terrible. No, I like And they friends. make breast stick. You don't know that. I know when that. When you ever been around somebody with friends? I've been around people with friends. And their breasts smell worse than they if they would take them things out. I don't think so. No, I know so. No, I'm telling you no. You don't know. But anyways. Anyways, what? Are you going to ever finish up talk about how your Khaled CD is like... Yes. Like Khalid's album is better than that one, but... Literally every topic you talk about something that's hella old. I'm just fucking with you. I swear to God, you're so annoying. <laughs> DJ Khaled. He's a useless one. human being. That's not even... That's just mean to say. He, what is he good for? I know what he's not good for. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go just ahead. Just saying. No, go ahead. That's no, Nikki, what you want to do. Nikki told everybody already. No, that's what you want to do. Go ahead. I'm just saying. Nikki who? Nikki Minaj? Yeah. yeah. She's clowning, putting all these rappers' business out on their song. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Probably five years ago. Three years ago. DJ Khaled still is not eating the Kuda Cat, so. That's what you want to talk about? You want to. No, she, I just don't know why you man, support that kind man, of shenanigan. The man puts out an album. Mm-hmm. That's fire. We haven't had it's it. It's not fire. You're yeah. the only person that thinks that's fire. Okay. You always Ooh. want to be so different right. than everybody else. It's good. I will go through the tracks. It's good. It's pretty good. It's really not good. And you know it's not good. Percentage-wise, how is it really not good? It's 2%. So if there's 10 songs, two of them are good? No. That's terrible math. No. 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 What do you mean 2%? 2%. Like maybe of one line Bieber saying is good. Stop it. Now you're just being, you're being extra. You're being extra on purpose. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. Okay. Why every time this man name gets brought up? What if that's not even true? It's true. How do you know? He didn't deny it. Yeah, because you can't really deny it. Well, yeah, I would have denied that. Job. We know you would have hoped. <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? Just saying. Wow. You put me on blast. Every time his name is brought up, that's what you want to talk about. I don't care about that. That ain't none of my business. But it's none of my business. I ain't either. got no cootie cat, and I ain't checking for DJ Khaled, so I don't <laughs> give a shit. I, I want to hear his music, and that's I it. Don't. All he does is yell, another one. That's fine. He's like a fat diddy. You are hella disrespectful. I'm <laughs> just saying. Diddy's on this album, too. I was not surprised. It's fire. I bet. That song's fire. You don't even know what song I'm talking about. Don't care. It was on my Insta feed and everything. You just... just what song was on my Insta feed today? A bunch of J. Cole, man. Okay. Because he's coming out with a new album and you want to play I a bunch can't... of old stuff. That's well, marketing at its finest. I don't have any finest. new stuff to play. So play... Yeah, you do. DJ Khaled. No, no, I, we were talking about Jermaine. No, we were talking about new stuff to play. That's what you said. You said he's coming out I with know. an album. You're talking about J. Cole. Yes. Just wait. I'm we're waiting. There, full circle, back to patience. You can't even just wait your place in line in the queue like everybody else. No. And wait till the music come out. Yeah, I'm you from the LimeWire age. What are you talking about? Stealing music? Yeah, we didn't wait for nothing to come out. It got leaked. You're a hot mess. Why? Nobody knows what LimeWire is. Yes, they do. do. You know how old you sound right now? <laughs> I don't Lime care. wire? I don't get Bro, lime wire? I just told and everybody Napster? I was trying to get DMX's <laughs> album on cassette tape. That's how old I am. Who did you tell that to? The whole timeline. A cassette tape. Do you even know what a cassette tape is? Some of these kids don't. I know. That's Mine. Just, that's, <laughs> that's scary. My kids don't know. That's scary. That's crazy. Not really, though, because do you know what an 8-track was when you were growing up? Um, growing like when I was a little kid. Yeah. Nah. nah. Exactly. Nah. But my parents didn't have an eight track either, though. Well, they probably did, but I when I was like a baby, tape. baby, when I was a baby, baby, when I was like old enough to like remember stuff like that, they didn't have. You don't remember cassettes. anything, so that's not really no, a good example. No, yeah, but my dad was like kind of a techie, so when the new tech yeah. came out, he's he's on yeah. it. Huh? What? Just saying. Nothing wrong with that. Ain't nothing wrong with that. But for all the people who care, DJ Cal- DJ Khaled's album is pretty good, man. It's oh. not good. We already know that. It's old news. It's old news because it's garbage. Jeez Louise. Mm. There's probably like another new album that came out that's better than that. The funniest part about DJ Khaled's album is I did not know this man's name was Khaled Khaled. That's fire. I taught you that. I know. You did. That's tight. 
But I never knew that information. Lots like the new music. I don't think oh, I listened so to DJ any Khaled's music. album. First track Thankful with Lil Wayne on it. It's like an intro. It's like an intro to Pooh. And Jeremiah on it. It's cool. It's because you like Jeremiah. That's the, why you like this album. He's literally on one song. Maybe How come two. this album came out? You didn't say nothing about this album. You play this song to hell. Yeah, More also came out. It's a fire album. This song, right? But. Where's he from? Fayetteville. Know. Where's that? Bro, that's oh, wait, J. Cole's that's where... backyard, bruh. Oh, see, you're not even a fan. I hope he listens to this. You're not even a fan. Talking all that mess. I don't know anything east of Colorado. I'm sorry, um, I don't. Yeah, we can talk about how geography is not your thing. <laughs> Stop. Simple geography. You know who needs a new album out? Right. Gerald. No, no, literally no one needs that. I would like a Gerald album. Yeah, if you leave Return of the Mac alone. Okay, first of all, that song is a hit. Yeah, it was a hit, <laughs> for sure. It's still a hit. It's like the wedding. It's like the wedding reception song, forever. What do you mean? Well, there's we, only there's only like Beep's album just came out like two weeks ago. You didn't want to talk about that? Do you want to talk only, about Khaled? That Bieber album wasn't that good. New, actually, this is the new out. Yeah, it wasn't. The Peaches song is about it. That's it. Fire. The rest of it's not. That's the two percent. If you're talking about two okay, percent, that's the album. That's the two percent. I don't think. DJ Khaled's album only has, like, two skips on it, if that. Yeah, to the next album. <laughs> to Wild Thoughts. <laughs> Skip it to Wild Thoughts. <laughs> Kiki. <sighs> You're so annoyed with me. Yeah. Ew! Big, pa- <laughs> Big Paper is fire. Got Cardi B on there. She spin. Cardi B does her thing. That song's fire. I love it. I don't think it's that good. I love that flow. You like New York oh, music. Oh, that We Going Crazy song with that that shorty, is the Shorty Low sample that you don't like in there? Yeah, how disrespectful. That shit is fire. That song's growing on me. Yeah, that shit's fire. Because. No, that shit's fire. Yeah, it was fire when Shorty Low did it. Hmm, I'm trying to figure out how to how to continue this argument because that's the argument that I had against. Uh, against what? Return of the Mac. First of all, Chris Brown and Gerald made it pop. <sighs> yeah, made it pop. Made it pop music. Trash. Wow, first of all, that's I'm just disrespectful. Saying. I'm just saying. Now, this week going crazy is cool. Yeah, when Shawty Lowe did it. Now, that's a cool track. With her and the Migos. He remade Song Cry and made it poo. We're not even there yet. I'm not there no, yet. No, I'm there. there. I'm there already. You like that song with Post Malone? That I did it? Posty? I like yeah. Posty. And Meg's, Meg's, uh, Meg's not her okay. verse is fire. She's kind of annoying there. to me. Her verse is fire. I don't care. Whatever. She could be annoying. That verse is fire. She killed that. Body yada 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 yada. That's yaddy, not the song yaddy. we're talking about. Okay, well. All right. Anyways, then that "Let It Go" with Justin Bieber, Twenty One Savage. Yeah. That's, uh, it's kind of poo. That's a skip. I don't like that song either. Yeah. And I stand Bieber Belly, but that's like background music. That track. The whole album is like garbage. Now, have you heard that "Body in Motion"? That Bryson Tiller joint. After that, that song is fire. Mm, okay. You didn't even get there. Cause you, cause you, see, this is the problem. It's like you're like, oh my god, I gotta hear the Justin Bieber song on the new Khaled, and you click I it, and it's trash. Bieber, and then you, alone. then you turn the whole album off. But that's literally track six, and there's. I play um, Cardi song. Yeah, that's track two, three, or three. Okay. So you got to Bieber, and you're like, oh, I'm over it, and you turn it off. That's your own fault. How's that my that's fault? That's your own problem. I don't. I love Bieber. Yeah, but he's not. He Bieber's not music. Bieber's <gasps> not music. No, I mean that's not what I mean. Bieber is not all of music. Bieber, his music is cool, but he's not all music. Like, sound, this is sounding eerily familiar to like Elvis and shit. Elvis is not all of music. I don't like Elvis. Bieber's going down that route. First of all, you don't know. Don't Who's going down that route there? Justin Timberlake. I will get there. He's also on this album. That's a fucking skip to. Oh, I heard that song. Didn't like it. Yeah, it's terrible. I mean, that's crazy. I used to stand in sync. Like, I mean, not Justin Timberlake, but. Like obsessed, like creepily. We know. I love NSYNC. You're and a tip- Britney. You're a typical Britney and NSYNC fan. Uh, yeah, because it was either that or Backstreet Boys. Backstreet Boys was fire. You were fucking tripping. Losers. A lot of them. Backstreet Boys was fire. All right. Oh, another thing. I know you don't want to talk about Drake, but he's got two tracks on his album. Yeah, and we've heard him like three months ago. I know. Ooh, that's old. Don't you want to talk about things about things that were like five years ago? Listen, 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 real quick. Do don't want, listen to me. What do you want me to say instead of listen? I don't want you to, to cut I'm gonna me say, off. I'm going to say, hold it. But I'm cutting cut you, you off. off. 
<laughs> Say it again to the mic. <laughs> Repeat it. I don't want you to cut me off uh-huh. when I'm cutting you off. Ah, uh, huh. How does that supposed to work? Just like I said it. Sheesh. So you don't have to deal with. Do you see the shenanigans that I have to deal with? You love my shenanigans. I sure do. So it's not cutting you off if I'm just reclaiming my... No, that doesn't work Cut. The truth? Mm, correct. Oh, okay. Don't care. I'm about to clip that one. Boom. And play it to you. Like, I'm going to get a soundboard on my phone. Like, boom. When it's the truth, it doesn't work. <laughs> or whatever shit you just said. Exactly. You don't even know. It's, it's on there, though, but I haven't documented it. Come on with your little DJ right. Khaled my fault, review. My fault, my fault, Have you listened to Body in Motion? What song is that? Bryson Tiller. I'll, I'll clip... Uh, well, when I edit it, I'll put this in there. It's fire. Anyways. I don't think. It's fire. It's got Roddy Rich and... Bryson I don't like Roddy Rich. I like his eyes. His eyes? Yeah, his I have light no eyes. idea what Roddy Rich's eyes look like. They're light. It's terrible. You're... Why? Oh, my God. Anyways. So, next song after Body Motion is Pop Star. Now, Boo. if we heard... If those two Drake songs didn't come out before... Do you know I thought that was Weekend the whole time? Sorry. Who was the Weekend? I thought... One of those songs was not the one with the Bieber video, the other Drake song on this album. Uh, Grease. Come with me. She knew that. Yeah. That's I it. literally thought that was the <laughs> weekend the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> but okay, so I'll get there. I'll get there. No, the other one, Pop Star is the one that Beeps in, in the video. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But just call it by phone. Well, yeah. I don't know all these songs. Oh, it's not a big huh. deal. Because the radio plays them every five seconds. And I played the video a lot. You have a problem. Bieber Valley. One thing. Uh, that's enough Drake talk. But anyways, if we heard these two songs just when the album dropped, yeah, it would be cool because they fit perfectly in the track listing in this. And they fit perfectly with the whole album. That's Skips. why I don't like. No. Sorry. No. With God. <laughs> what is wrong with you? What? You're having too much fun. The neighbors are arguing again. I don't hear none of that. You don't? I hear us arguing. We're the neighbors arguing. We're not loud. Kids okay. are asleep. The, <laughs> yeah, for real, right? Podcasting with the family, you gotta, you know. Cut out. Carve out bedtime. I have a, I have a funny story about that later. No, I should tell it now. No. Nah. What? I gotta stay on track. I gotta stay on track. It's the hardest part about this nonsense. What was I saying about Drake? These his, these two songs fit in this album perfectly. Like, if you just hear them in the context of this album, that's why, like, that's my argument for albums versus a single era. Because those singles come out and you're like, what the hell is this shit? But if it came out, just the album, we just dropped the album, and we heard, oh, there's two Drake songs on there. Oh, well, people are going to go to those first anyway. But if people don't, and they just listen to the album straight through, like you're freaking supposed to, then this pop star and the Grease song, mm-hmm. they fit cool in the album. Can we take a commercial break? All right, cool. We are back from our little break. What? <sighs> Anyways. Back to your track to, Yes, yes, yes. I'm going to take a quick nap. If somebody listened to Dark Twisted Fantasy and they listened to it out of order, how would that be? Terrible, right? I do that not all the time. Good, what right? are you talking about? I listen to it on shuffle all the time. What are you talking it's about? It's not as good as from top it to bottom, It is though. top tier. Yeah, from top to bottom. From middle to side, I don't care. No. You're not going to compare these two albums. I know you're not no, going no, to compare these no, two No, I'm just making a case for listening to a whole album. That's you're supposed to listen to a whole album. It's a whole complete project. Yeah. Now okay. you sound old. How this album just came you're out. You're talking about this like. This album just came out. Yeah, but you're talking about you album. have to listen to it from top to you bottom. Should. A single era. Blah, blah, blah. Of- <laughs> blah, blah, blah. <laughs> All right. After Popstar comes the second greatest track on this album this is my year oh my god no big sean rick ross a boogie with a hoodie Top diddy poo. diddy on the Top diddy poo. on the ad-libs it's diddy and dj Khaled with the ad-libs Great, that's <laughs> all track. We and that song is fire i don't think it it's it's fire give that song three spins no i'm talking to them not you okay rude i'm just not doing it the only thing I don't like about that song is all the people on it is I don't know why they dropped the beat out for this man, Rick Ross, and his ass was super offbeat. I don't know if the engineer, engineer after the fact slipped his shit or what, but that, no, that should have been fixed. The lemon pepper wings got to him. He did not do the 
the the you know m- 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 it wasn't stutter. a justice league we is what you're telling me it ain't got nothing to do with that it just it, that shit had well, maybe he couldn't hear himself in the headphones i don't know mm-hmm. keep making but excuses. he had this i like ross and everybody I know, that's who's why you're making hear, excuses for him players gonna fuck up down that song is bananas after that sorry not sorry that's the one you call the song cry. The weekend song. Oh wait. No, the song cry. Oh, it is the song cry beat. That's the best song in the album, lyrically, hip hop wise. That's the best song in the album. Right. What? He remade. That, is, that has nothing song to do with cry. Anything. Yes. Why? Which is already why? a why classic. No. And then made it worse. No. With the same why? artist on it. Make it make sense. He didn't. Did you listen to it? Yeah, I it's, listened to it. It doesn't sound like song cry. It's a different song than Song Cry. Right, but he It's took... not Song Cry. Song, what's Song Cry about? Oh, my God. Really? Why are we doing this? No, I'm asking you for the audience. Are you you know I know. I know you know, so tell us. Right, so I'm not going to... Everybody knows what Song Cry is about. Can you get on with your... You can't assume that everybody knows what Song Cry is. Anybody I... that is listening to us knows what Song Cry Wrong. is. <sighs> Brian, are you going to let this album cry, or are you just going to... Sorry, not sorry is not about. It's not about making the song cry. I understand. Sorry, that. not I'm sorry. I'm just saying it's not better than the original version. And I didn't say that. It doesn't have to be. It doesn't song, have to be. When you remake a song, you just did all that caving for G Easy. But yeah, when you make remake a song, it has to be just as good as the original. This has to be a vibe. That Gerald is not first as good of all. As the original. Don't Stop you it. disrespect Whoa, Gerald. That, that first definition, of all, that first criteria of all, you just gave. First no. of all, a Bay Area king. You leave him alone. That's fine. He can be a Bay Area whatever, but. No. No. You're not going to disrespect Gerald and Christopher. You sound ridiculous. You sound ridiculous. Caping for this DJ Khaled album and everybody knows it's fucking dog poo. Okay. So, again, I said this on my feed already or my story, whatever the hell. You don't even know. I do know. <laughs> I said it. When the summer, when we're out in the summer and people are revisiting this album, they're like, oh my God, we slept on this shit. This shit is fire. Just remember that you heard it here first. We're not going to say that. Say what? Any of that. Want to bet? Yes. How much? Three Dogecoins. <gasps> oh, I don't like betting Dogecoins. That's a new little... We usually do these little bets. That's kind of slick of you. When did you think of that? When it was shoved down my throat endlessly. No. No. I'm not giving away any of my Dogecoins, bro. So you know just it's half, not worth it. Just half rest. of them. You can have half yeah, of them. Yeah, I know. Dogecoins. Already half off top. I'm not, I'm not betting off. I'm not betting my three Dogecoins plus your half. <laughs> uh, that's gonna happen over the summer people are gonna say this album's fire we'll see we'll put some dogs on it uh, maybe I'll wait till it crashes and then I'll put some dogs on it the fuck up. <laughs> then then we have the Just B Justin Timberlake I skipped that song I hate that song it's I'm, actually really poo um, it's really background noise like I, I heard it I'm through like a couple just times just Man of the Woods vibe and I'm not yeah it. yeah I need Justin Timberlake to do black music again or in sync. Shut up, Brian. Then we got DJ. We got um, DJ Khaled. We got Bryson Tiller again. Yeah, I can have it all. That's the Meek Mill song. You like that song? I like Meek Mill. You like that song? You heard it? He has my favorite hymn. Then Grease, where the Drake sounds like the weekend, <laughs> but it sounds cool. I really it thought that was cool the right weekend. Here. And then we got um, the last song, "Where You Come From," with uh, Buju Banton. Buju Banda. I don't know. I don't even know if I'm saying it. I might be butchering that, but you probably are. It's, it's like it's you know, it's got that island Jamaican feel or whatever. I don't like that song at all. And it's it's probably the coolest song on that album. It's really not. Let me see. The um I don't want to play it on that. my Apple music. It's gonna mess up my album. But I don't I don't really like that song. So if I was running running through the album, whatever, what I usually do is I st- I start on big paper and go all the way down to I can have it all or Grease and skip that Justin Timberlake song as a fire album. You're tripping. Out of 14 songs, like that's 11. That's a good album. That's a great album. We're going to revisit this over the summer. I, I promise you. Okay, put your Dogecoin on it. I might. I might. I might. I might when it crashed. Okay, everybody. No, what? That's not. You said it's not going to crash. It's at a new floor. That's all I got. That's all I got for DJ Khaled right now. That's all we ever have with DJ Khaled. But go check out that Moray too. That album, let me see. Is that the track star man? Yeah. Wait, no, 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 no. Oh. That's um dang. What's his name? That's terrible. Uh Mooski. Oh. Mooski, that song is disgusting. Well, you don't even know who it was. I just said Mooski. 
Dang. I gotta memorize every artist ever? People are really dumb. What happened? I'm just on Facebook in my little Disneyland group. No, we're, no, that's not what we're doing. Sorry. I'm just Cut. saying. <laughs> and now we are gonna take a commercial. And they're talking break. about we're group A for our annual pass, but we're trying to reserve a date. But they don't know that their annual pass was canceled. Are you telling me that you got diverted by some notifications just now? Um, no, it was in my feed. I think it's diverted. I was never invested into DJ Khaled's album review. Pooh. My review. No, that album is cool. My review <laughs> is that it was poo. You haven't even heard the whole thing. I heard enough to know that I don't want to listen to the whole thing. We're going to have to cut the music segment if that's how you're going to review music on here. <laughs> Like, okay, well, when it's time it for trash. Jermaine's <laughs> album, I will let you know. The funny thing about Jermaine, right? There's nothing funny we have, about him. We have, we like a lot of the same artists. Jermaine's one of them. I, I fuck it with J. Cole. But I love that KOD album, and all the girls hate that album. I don't know why. I like it. That al- I was playing it this morning. What are you no, talking about? Bro, cow. literally look at my freaking Instagram story. Two songs that are on there from the album. I was what I was listening to today. You're full of cap. Well, good thing Apple Music is a stalker and tracks everything that I listen to. Because where are we at? Look it. Ready? Set. You know. Cool. Yeah, you got KOD. You probably played two songs. I funk with that album. And you talking about For Your Eyes Only and That's my Forest favorite. Hills Drive mm-hmm. and Born Center and what's the other one? Cold world. Yeah, man. See, like. <sighs> you act like you don't know. KOD's know. fire. KOD's fire. Yeah. I listened to, to it today. Mm. What other music are you looking forward to over the summer this year or over this year period? What's coming out? That's what you're supposed to speculate. Oh, well, <laughs> probably J. Cole. If that's coming out for sure. Well, that's what they've been hearing for a long time, but I haven't seen it yet. Yeah, that would annoy me as a fan. Funk that. DMX is supposed to have a new album. Rest in peace, DMX. I don't know how that's supposed to work. How's that supposed to work? Unreleased stuff? Tupac has like 15 albums out after. So, I mean, I'm pretty sure that it'll work. (laughs) People make you talking about you draw a million things a day, but you don't think artists have a million songs. But but it wasn't attack. I feel attacked. It wasn't attack Brian segment. It was just a simple question. Like how, I mean, how is that? I mean, I mean, you are in music. I don't understand how you wouldn't understand that. I didn't mean how technically is that going to make it into Apple Music and be able to be consumed with our ears. That's not what I meant. I meant how is Billie Eilish has a new album coming out. Billie Eilish is talented, man. Her brother's talented. I fuck with Phineas. He got. I don't know who Phineas is. It's her brother, her producer. Yeah, I don't know. The guy behind the music. Then yes. Okay. I haven't really heard anybody else. I don't know. I mean, I wish Kanye would drop an album. That would be fire. That's gonna come soon. That's not. Wasn't like, he working on? Wasn't he flying everybody to Wyoming last year? Yeah, two but years ago? I don't want a church album. Why not? It's Ugh. fire. I mean, yeah, it's cool, but I hope we get another breakup album. That'd be cool. That's gonna be the next one. Maybe. And this album's like almost done. You don't know that. You don't know Kanye like that. Sounds pretty almost wrapped up. You think? He's or gonna, did you get that from your friend Budden? No, 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 I didn't get that from nobody. He's going to, if he does add some breakup gospel, I don't know. If he adds some songs and some gospel, it's only going to be like a couple of them, which is going to throw the album, which is already going to mess the album up. What's your favorite music you listen to that you don't think anybody or like that you think that nobody would know or like people wouldn't know? Some that I listen to that people wouldn't think I listen to? Yeah. Currently? Just like in general, it's like a vibe that you like play. Well, that people the think. kids the kids always laugh at me when I know all the rock songs, the old school rock songs that come on because, you know, they're like, how do you know this stuff? I'm like, you know, the high school locker room, the football locker room, we was playing all that. Um, dang, I lost all the bands. Like Linkin Park and stuff. Linkin Park. Traps. But, but the harder <laughs> ones, the harder ones. I don't know. Disturbed. Yeah, system you know. of a Down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. System of a Down. I funk with System of a Down. Heavy. Wake up. Oh <laughs> Girl, my God. Up little makeup. <laughs> yeah, I funk with I funk with System of a Down. Um, but that's not. I don't listen to them like. Yeah. Now. 
<laughs> Everybody knows I had that uh, Sabrina Claudio Christmas album. Oh God! On repeat that was until a terrible like, time until in my like life. March. Literally, March. Like it was really bad. It's so good. Oh it's my not, God! I think oh, you were just enamored with the album cover. The album was no, not no, no, good. No, no, no. Like Ariana's Christmas listen, album is way better than listen, that. Listen, the album. Hear me out. I'm no. gonna say that. I'm gonna say that. Hear me out instead of listen. Hear me out. The album cover wasn't even like that. Like I didn't even notice that. I'm. I'm be real. I didn't even like notice notice the album cover like that because it comes up on small on my screen. I'm. A, I'm. A, I'm gonna blame this on the old people eyes. It's all small on my screen. Like, I didn't really notice that. I just saw, like, Sabrina Claudio and music, or uh, Christmas album or whatever, right? I clicked it. That shit was fire. I didn't know you could make, like, sultry Christmas music. Oh, my God. I was in there. She introduced me to it. She made up a new genre. Or probably not. No, but introduced didn't. me to a new genre. And I was like, yo, this is the vibe. And I listened to that for... You remember that meme that was floating around with the picture of the, the black dude with the, with the... I don't know. He got, like, a... A skull beanie on or a, a wave cap or whatever. A wave cap. Who the fuck says wave cap? An old person. Was, was it a do-rag? <laughs> wave cap. He got the do-rag on or mm-hmm. some some, And he mean mugging. He got his eye. You know what I'm saying? He got yeah. his uh, headphones in and yes. on the side is. Yeah, I put I posted that with Sabrina Claudia. Christmas album. And I can't cancel Sabrina. I'm sorry. I don't even know what she did. I don't know what. I can't cancel her. You're like. I know, problematic a little bit. Yeah, you're like the Joe Budden of the Unknown know, Podcast. Please don't call me the Joe Budden of anything. <laughs> How am I the Joe Budden of a what? Unknown Podcast. You just said Unknown Podcast? Yeah. You want to be a known podcast or not? Nah? Just saying. I'm just saying. I'm just asking. So egg. Hear me out. Hear me out. Listen, listen. Hear me out. Hear me out. Hear me out. What about you? Me? Music that... Nobody knows that you listen to. Everybody knows the kind of music you listen to. What do I listen You're to? You're predictable. Okay. Mm. <laughs> Go ahead. Shock us. Um, I don't know. Like, I listen to Journey. Steve Perry. Bay Area Kings. Bay Area Kings. Oh, my God. <laughs> You're obsessed with California. Bay Area. But, yeah, I don't know. Um, A lot of NSYNC and Britney. Bro, everybody listens to NSYNC. No, they don't. Literally everyone. Literally everyone. Was forced to. What? Everybody on the planet was forced to listen to them. That's not. How? Since you're always talking about Joe Budden, they got, you know, their sleeper segment is a sleeper segment because people slept on it. Yeah. Nobody slept on NSYNC and Britney. It was impossible. It was impossible to sleep on them. Mm. They were shoved down our throat. That's disrespectful. Pause or whatever, you know. You don't have to say that. That's homophobic. It's not really a pause situation. Yeah, but I don't want anything shoved down my throat, though. (laughs) Fair enough, but you don't have to say pause, because... What, what am I supposed to say? That's what we're first... You don't have to say nothing. I started off being... Yeah. Trying to be so fluid with, you know... Yeah. The three people in the relationship. So problematic. Yeah, I got things to work on. I'm yeah, growing. I'm do. growing. I can't say pause. No. I meant, like, pause the podcast. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> don't say pause. Why? Because only men that... No, I think know, that I something is gay, say pause. But even if it was, I mean, that's just, I don't know. Being gay I'm just is reinforced. I'm just, uh, I just feel like it's uh, some, I don't even know why I'm justifying this. I don't <laughs> like, know either. You should just stop just for content. <laughs> if somebody's just, you know. Just might as well clip cem- this out. Cementing their, uh, cementing their sexuality. No. Yeah. Cementing their homophobia. I'm not a homophobe, though. Well then, don't say or pause. That's not well, only what. That's not where that developed from. Absolutely, it yeah, did. How do you know? Because I know. Because I'm old. I was around when it started. That's just all these kids. That's just no. What happened was these young kids. They don't even know what back in the day. They didn't even know what gay was. They didn't even know what homo was. But people were using it as a derogatory term. So yeah. they were just like calling each other that. As a derogatory term, they didn't even know what it meant. Still I to mean, this day, I the think, kids don't know what that is. Okay, but you shouldn't excuse that. Um, excuse what? They, they don't know what it is? Yeah. I'm just Because I'm just people telling. know what it is, and they know what it means. and they well, People know what it is. The that's kids, how do you think it became derogatory? No, because kids because kids assumed that it was something derogatory. But why? They didn't assume. Because, they meant it in a derogatory Because kids are mean way. to each other, and they just clown each other all day and day long. Yeah, but no. People have been, like, hurt for that. People... No. That's like saying that... People have not been hurt for saying pause. 
No. Are you saying what? Yeah, what comes like with where it's that? Simply, I got yeah. you. I got you. Don't, Don't do that. It's nasty. Clippity clip. <laughs> no, that's a good. Ah, oh, see, we in there. Mm-hmm. We woke woke. Yeah. Woke woke. Not woke woke. Just jokes. trying to be better. You can, yeah. Trying to be better and not nasty and crusty. Yeah. We don't want to be trying crusty. to grow. Yeah. Not trying to, like making a conscious effort. Trying sounds that is like trying to grow. Yeah, but trying makes it sound like so growing. Yeah, growing. So just growing. Yeah, that makes sense. We be going off topic. Off topic. <laughs> Ot. <laughs> we be going super serious and then not at all, and then like in like yeah yeah that's cool though. That's gonna be the podcast too. If you guys <laughs> yeah stay with us and keep listening, it's gonna be. This, this is how our discussions really go. In real life. In real life, every day. We mentioned to the, the kids, you know, because we live with them, so. <laughs> we definitely live they, with them. They no, are, they live with us. They, but I, no, we live with them. <laughs> the, I live with all y'all. Y'all moved all my stuff outside into the shed. <laughs> we did not either. Oh, yeah, just you. Yeah, you're right. Oh, my God! If it makes you feel any better, I blew out my back doing that, so. I bet you did, because you fell off the chair, put it under your curtain. That, was that you buy. Yeah, you got it. <laughs> you got it. Don't be like that. I'm you just... almost fell off that same chair. Let's tell the whole story. Yeah, I almost fell off. Yeah. That's it. That's the end of the story. Chair was wobbly. You really fell off. <laughs> <laughs> Hit your head on everything. I really did. Oh. Yeah, let's tell the whole story. Ripped it, it hurt. Ripped, ripped the hat shelf off the wall. I sure and... did. Busting my head on the baby shopping cart. Trying to bust up Funkos off the wall. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Them mm. Funkos. But anyways, what was I saying? I don't remember. Dang it. It was right after we were talking about growing. Oh, this is our conversation in real life. This is how it goes. Oh, mm. the kids were listening to us, overhearing us, you know, talk about doing a podcast. We've been talking about doing a damn podcast for like eight years. Because I'm hilarious. Because she's hilarious. Lee and patient. Hardy har. I'm just saying. <laughs> and the the kids' eyes lit up. They're like, "You guys are gonna do a podcast?" Because they be listen. They've listened to our podcast in real life every day. Yeah. And anybody else who's lived with us for any amount of time knows they've listened into our podcast. Yeah. Unofficially, and this this is really how it goes: clowning on each other, but then having serious conversations. That's what we do. Psychopath things. Keeping our Keeping our relationship, our relationship, you know? Spicy. You're so extra. You're so extra. You're so extra. How I'm extra. I just chill. You ready to wrap it up? Yeah, because I'm tired. I'm old. <sighs> yeah, pretty much. But that's going to do it. We, you know, we're going we're gonna to figure out how to do this thing, get to keep this thing moving for you guys. Let us know what you want to hear, what you don't want to hear. They don't want to hear about these kids. They do want to hear about these kids. Our kids are funnier than we are. This is a fact. They're funny. Funny, funny. They need to start a podcast, too. I don't want to listen to that. Me neither. <laughs> <laughs> uh, It'll be about Funkos and, like, Funkos and ordering Funkos. And some more Funkos. Oh, man. Funko With some Pops. Dogecoin. But I'm a fun- and some Funko stocks. <laughs> yeah. And then Funko NFTs. Okay, no, don't anyways. get them started on anyways. that. Please don't. If that ever becomes a thing, just don't tell no, them. No, that's a thing. They oh, already know. I swear to God. Why did you tell them? I didn't. The internet's tell them. What are you talking about? Why they do they know. Have they, the follow, they follow all the pages on the stuff. What do you mean? They Defund know. Defund the internet. That's one of the reasons why the Funko stocks is going up. It's because they. Because we buy them all? No, because they're hopping in NFTs. It's the wave. It's the future. That's so exciting. I'm so excited. They the can't wait to hear exciting. all about it. The future is exciting. Yeah, it's exciting when you hear about one time. Well, when it's the future, it's going to be, you're going to hear about it continuously. Yay, me. <sighs> I'd rather yeah. hear about Funkos, like just regular Funkos. I'd rather keep getting 68 million text messages about, can you order this? Can you order this? Can you order this? My they get goodness. a little bit of money in this. Can you order this? Basically. Can you pre-order this? That's how it goes right there. I should have never told them that the pre-orders don't charge you until it ships. I should have never given them that secret. Because now they're like, can you pre-order this? Can you pre-order this? Can you pre-order this? <laughs> right. Yeah. Why did you tell them about that? I don't know. Why did you tell them about the other things that you tell them about? Stocks and Funko? Yeah. I mean, I mean not stocks and Funko. Stocks and NFT yeah. and Dogecoin? Yeah. Because that's how they're going to be millionaires. I'm sure of it. No, I am. Okay. No. 
Now that they keep pre-ordering Fungos. No, mm-hmm. uh, Fungos. You think Fungos is going to be worth something? Like Beanie Babies? No. Why? They will. For who? Funko will make sure of it. Who are they going to sell them to? Uh, Their own demographics when there are... Our, our, no, here's what's going to happen. is All those Funkos are going to go into storage, and then they're not going to pay their storage unit, and then they're going to get auctioned off. Yeah. And we're going to see their Funkos on somebody's TV show one day. Storage Wars. Yeah. Funko Wars. Storage Wars is going to see a bunch of kids' boxes in there, see some kids' bikes. Like, I need this one. I know some Funko box in there somewhere. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> so back in the day, they had these, like, in sync bobbleheads. I had them all. You're such a nerd. I really did. I had them all. You're a nerd. Just saying. Why are you going to be a nerd? Because you are. You're going to talk about NFTs and stocks that's and cryptocurrency, future. but I'm that's a nerd. Future. That's not. That's nothing to do with being a... Well, I guess it does. <laughs> You were like Lord of the Nerds. What are you talking about? Don't do all that. I'm just saying. Don't do all that. You are, though. Nah. A little bit. No. Okay, you're like Jester of the Nerds. I don't be a Jester of anything. <laughs> Hater. Nah, I'm nah, telling nah. the truth. No, you're not. Can we end this? I'm tired. I need to go to sleep. Yeah, I was trying to find my little outro, but I guess we'll try that another time. What's your outro? I was going to say it, and then... We oh, you go. wrote an outro? Yeah, kind of. Bro, are you serious? Yeah, what's wrong with that? You're really a nerd. You don't just hit the, like, stop button. Just be like, hey, see you next time. Yeah, Talk that's a terrible time. outro. Okay, guys, see you next time. Click. Just click the button. You don't have to say goodbye. You don't have to have an outro. Just be like, okay, we're done. Click. What's the podcast You're supposed to have an outro? Don't worry. You got, okay. I've listened to podcasts that don't have outros. You haven't listened to podcasts at all. I listen to Kid Fury's podcast. <sighs> And I listen to murder podcasts, okay, and they so don't so really end it. Like, well, it's already our, they're dead. So, how do you end that? Since it's our first little, our first little setup joint. Yeah, which is now two hours. So you're gonna have to really clip this because nobody wants to fucking sit here and listen for two hours. Want to bet? I don't. I'll, I'll get my Dogecoin back from you <laughs> on that bet. <laughs> All right, peeps, we're gonna do it. It's late. We out of here. Clarify what we're gonna do because we're going this to sleep. Is- you can't say we're going to leave and it's bedtime and we're going to do it. That sounds nasty. That Nobody was thinking about that except you. No, like, that literally nobody nasty. was thinking about it. I was, literally no one. You don't know that. Literally no one. You don't but know that. But now everyone is thinking that. Well, I'm going to sleep. Me too. So why did Go you say fly? that? I, I, what do you mean? Oh, I guess... That's what I just hey, said. Hey, peeps, huh? we're going to do it. <laughs> yeah, we're going to do it. We're going to go. We're going to bounce. We're going to leave. We're going to do it. What does that mean? That sounds like grand It means we're going to rise. We're going to be... We're going to do it. You can't say goodnight. You can't say that. What? I can clip that. Oh. <laughs> <sighs> oh, my gosh. You're not going to tell them the name of the podcast? Nothing? You're going to say? I didn't name the podcast. I was outvoted. <sighs> so what's your name of the podcast? I don't have a name for the podcast. That would be funny. Just to come up with a new name every day, every time for the podcast. Why and it's not the name. Because it's funny. Hardy har. So come up with a name. I don't have a name for the podcast. You have to name the episode. That's Hi like guys. the same thing. Duh. But that's different, too. How? I got you. I got your back. Houseway. I'm the editor guy. You're I'm the nerd. The, yeah. Yeah, so let me do my nerd thing. Okay, bye. All right, y'all. So that's... Are we going to even say our names? Did we, we said our names for the whole thing, but yeah, are we going to do that? I said your whole government name. Yeah, of course you would. Of I'm course sorry. you would. I'm sorry. Yeah. Let's do a podcast and then give them all the information and, tell, and then say I'm giving too much info. <sighs> We're so sleepy. But anyways. Anyways, what? That's uh, B and T. No, that's lame. Honestly. Brian and T. Brian and T is cool, huh? No. Brian and Taryn. Taryn and Brian. What? Why do we have to do this extra stuff? You have to let people know what the hell they're listening to. They know what they're listening to. Comedy. <sighs> Everyone, good night. This is Brian and Taryn, and you're listening to comedy. <laughs> <laughs>